Hello, everybody, and Hello welcome everybody. to the final match, the first game of the final match of uh, FIDE Women's Candidate Tournament. The match is going to be held between Lee Tingji and Tan Jung Gi. I'm Ali Gershon, and alongside me is the Women International Master I'm Cho Mongji. Welcome, everybody. Uh, the round has already started, uh, but uh, we have a lot of time, and uh, I see that there is already some surprises in the opening. We'll go, come back to it. But first, we wanted to introduce the players a little bit and show you their path to this tournament. So, first, maybe about the players. Uh -huh. sure. Uh, two players are both from China and both from the same place, uh, Chongqing. And that's the first time maybe in the past uh, few decades that two candidates are from the same country and the same city. That's rare. Uh, amazing. Yeah. Um, and the winner will be, uh, will, will be compete to uh, Zhu Wenjun uh, in the final and an all Chinese, again, yeah, another yeah, all yeah. Chinese match. Yeah, 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 it's another Chinese match. It will be held in, uh, in let, me, let me see, J July. It will be in July. Exactly. Um, also yes. in China, the final. Uh, about the two players, uh, Tan Zhongyi is a, a grandmaster, and he, she's now uh, eighth, eighth rating of the women players in the world, like 25, 26. And uh, she has already got once the uh, world, champ world women champion uh, in which year? Uh, she was in two, uh, two 2017, I think. 2017, until, yeah, yeah, she 20, was. yeah, 2017. And the next year, Ju and Jun got the champion. Uh, uh, Lei Tingjie is the sixth place of women, women player in the world. Uh, her rating is 2545, also a grandmaster. Um, this is the first time she has a chance to play the candidates. Uh, so as a friend of her, I hope she can <laughs> play well this time. Okay, so you, you take Lei, yes? Uh, yeah. Uh, and I have to say another thing. Both are extremely strong, obviously, and they are near their top uh, their peak levels in rating wise. Uh, mm -hmm. I think Lei is uh, now has she has her best rating ever. Yeah. And uh, Tang is also very close to her best uh, best ever rating. So and they are both on the top four in uh, China and uh, and the top ten in the world. So th this is going going to be an exciting match. And. Uh, uh, Let's take a look at how both got here because they, they beat some very powerful competition on, on their way here. Mm -hmm. So if, uh, for instance, Lei, uh, first she, she had to overcome both uh, Muzichuk uh, sisters by being in the first pool. Maybe it's, it's time to, to say that the, this candidates tournament was divided into first two pools, knock, knockout pools. And uh, after quarterfinals and semifinals, uh, now they meet for uh, for the final match. So each match consisted of uh, four uh, previously in the in the previous uh, rounds. Each match consisted of four games, and uh, Lei managed to win both matches uh, both matches in uh, regulation without tie breaks, which is very impressive. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, 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 Tan's way was a little bit more difficult. Uh, she she beat uh, Katerina Lekno in the quarterfinals, in the tie breaks. Uh, after uh, it was really a roller coaster there, and, and there, she, she won the first game, and then she she held. And then in the final, in the semifinal or the mm -hmm. final of the Pool B, she beat Alexandra Guryachkina, who was in, in a fantastic form prior to this tournament. In, in maybe some were consider her to be even the, the favorite. But um, Tan managed to win in the last game and then go through. So our uh, final match is... Uh, uh, 
is going to be held in uh, six games mm -hmm. with the classical yeah. time control of 19 minutes uh, for 40 moves and then, then 30 minutes and 30 seconds for each move. Mm -hmm. And the price fund for this match is uh, $110,000, I think. With 60,000 goes to, to the winner and 50,000 50, 50, for, for the, the runner-up. Yeah. And of course, the, the main uh, the main prize for this uh, for the winner is to compete in the world championship match. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's uh, go let's to see some the moves. Game, yeah. some moves. Okay, we're here for the good, for the moves. So I think we have a surprise by Tan. Tan uh, drew the white color in the first game. And we must say, because the match is very short, it's a bit longer than the previous matches of four games each, but because the match is quite short, six games is really not enough. Mm -hmm. uh, is not enough. It's, it's really, if you lose a game, it's, it's quite difficult to overcome. So every white piece uh, matters. Every time you get the white pieces is, is really important. Yeah. And, uh, I think here uh, Tan goes for the element of surprise. I don't remember her, her playing C4 much. Uh, uh, she yeah, no she she's usually a D4, D4 player. Sometimes mm -hmm. uh, I've seen her play E4, uh, yeah. but very rarely C4 is... Uh, of course, it can transpose uh, later on, but not after E5. After E5, it doesn't really transpose to any D4 lines anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have the... Okay, so it's the English defense and knight d2, c5. Both players are playing pretty fast so far. I think they have got this position prepared both. You think you think Lei prepared it as well? She, she mm -hmm. was expecting this c4 move, you think? Uh, I think she has uh, prepared c4, d4, and e4, all of them, because okay. you never know what she will play in the final. So I think Tan, uh, I think Lei has prepared three of them. Okay, fair enough. We, for, for the match, you, you must be prepared. Mm -hmm. And now it looks like after g3, she is out of her book, or maybe she's recalling so, the variations that she analyzed. Mm -hmm. Now. With this, we have to say that both players are very sharp tactical, aggressive tactical players, right? Yeah, both of so them like to, uh, to attack more than defense. And this uh, opening choice is a little bit counterintuitive for, for an attacking player, I would say, because it, it, it goes to, to tell us that uh, well, we're probably going to play for some small edge, not even maybe an so much of an advantage for, uh, for white as, uh, as aiming for some long maneuvering game where you hope to know the plans better than your opponent. And uh, uh, well, uh, of, as you can see, after c5, one of the drawbacks of, the, of this move, obviously the, the move one, uh, with c5, uh, black uh, wants to grab, uh, to, to, to get a huge grip in, in, of the center squares. Yeah, she want to block the white from e3 and d4. Exactly, exactly. From, uh, so uh, white would, uh, normally when white plays like this, white, is planning for to first develop her pieces slowly, like g3, knight f3, bishop g2, knight f3, or e3, knight e2, and then eventually play e4, d, e3, d4, because, well, she, she missed her chance to play it in the first move, then it, it goes very difficultly, but uh, she, she will try to do that. So c5 is coming to tackle exactly that, but the obvious drawback of, uh, of this move is like we all say, the problem with chess, with pawns is they never go back. So you can, mm -hmm. after you play c5, you can never go back to c6. And yeah. this poses some problem to this uh, d5 square, which is, uh, which can be a huge, a huge pro weakness later on. Although it's, it's nothing new, nothing major, 
people already know how to play with it because black can target target this uh, d5 defenders they protect this d5 uh, square with the knight and the bishop but anyway the important thing here is that c5 was played after the bishop was the knight was put on d2 and yeah. why is that important because obviously before knight is on d2 so for instance if we, let's say we play c5 immediately which is not a very good move in this position then the knight would have the chance to go straight to d5 to, d, to c3 and then d5, to d5 yeah. right so she played the bishop b4 to uh to prevent white from knight c3 and knight d5 this plan exactly so it goes to provoke uh, white to choose either you go with the bishop, with bishop to d2 and knight. then uh, black has a few options you can maybe play a5. she can play or a5 or maybe even sometimes C5. what black is saying uh, not necessarily uh, in this position changed. but uh, sometimes it can black might say uh -huh, okay yeah. i i really think that your bishop on d2 is worse is positioned worse than on c1 so i provoke you to play in bishop d2 okay. and i go back and then continue with my plans because sometimes the bishop would uh, maybe want to go B3, to b2 b3 bishop b2 right yeah so uh, but uh, tan chose to play knight d2 and now this opens uh, the possibility of play for black to play c5 and uh, we continue now it's normal development black uh, develops uh, her pieces so probably she will want to place the, the bishop on e6 and the, the knight will probably go to e7, e7. with the we, we can maybe show it or mm -hmm. maybe they already showed it okay they showed it for us so this is this is uh, the game and uh, show what are you saying is uh, is there known theory okay. Is this a known theory? What are the latest important games? Can, can you see uh, as we speak? See. What I can say for now, with this formation uh, is also another important principle here. So as we can see, the pawns uh, are all placed on the dark squares, which means that this bishop, this dark square bishop of black, so before it doesn't feel so well. And uh, if uh, so, so basically, black would like to exchange it, uh, uh, this bishop for this knight, for this bishop for the knight. And I think uh, now, after after Tan castled, a uh, black should strongly consider to exchange it now before the, the knight can run away. Although I don't really see where it can run away so so much. But I've seen in a game, uh, Grishchuk and Dreary played in 2020. Okay. Uh, okay. The same position, and in this position, uh, Black played, uh, he oh, castled So they, they transposed, so, yeah. so basically Black... Played uh, castle. Castle? Uh, and, uh, but now in... A, in knight B3. Knight B3, right, exactly. As we said, White really wants to to keep this, what we could call a stupid bishop on before, because it, it really, it's not doing much and, and it doesn't have too many prospects as well. So, so this goes, so the knight avoids the exchange mm -hmm. and then uh, what happened? And knight a5. Knight a5. So maybe it t tactically white cannot untie the, himself here. Although I wonder what, uh, Knight, knight uh, white FD2. played white played knight fd2 and black immediately took on d2 uh, right bishop took d2 yeah so he he managed to knight take back knight take back and knight went to back and to c6 back to so, c6 so basically yeah nothing major happened here just uh, change uh, exchange uh, the, 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 the same could knight. have could have happened if they, they just took on <laughs> yeah. d2 yeah so it's a fancy <laughs> way to to exchange and but uh, okay but lay is now thinking i think yeah we're back to the game she is mm -hmm. now this is the the, the current position mm -hmm. she's considering her her options so what might be uh, were there any there were no games 
apart from this, yeah? Uh, so this is... Not really much This is, game. Really this is the only game. game I found. Interesting. Okay. So we are basically in the free, free dive here, which is good. Uh, unless both players know know the game. I, I think Tan is better, a little bit better prepared here. She she plays faster. She only spent uh, well uh, just over two minutes on the clock. I think yeah. She has 1.9 and uh, with a 30 second increment. Yeah, something like that. Uh, so she might be aware of this game actually. I mm -hmm. think. And uh, Ney seems to be thinking on her own, but again, her position is super solid and, and uh, she has really not much to worry about. And the, the, plan, the plans will be as follows, basically. So, a white normally wants to, because of this strong bishop on g2, which will put pressure on a, uh, H1 along this to a, a, uh, a8 file oh exactly on on this long diagonal mm -hmm. and uh, white usually the way to exploit it to is to start pushing pawns uh, on the, the the whole idea of this formation by white is basically to put the the bishop on, on the long diagonal and start pushing the pawns on the queen side and and put some pressure uh, on, on Black's position. Of course, Black knows that well, so the, the idea of Black will sometimes, Black will want to, if allowed to, Black will want to play bishop e6 and d5, or even d5 immediately. I'm a bit curious about d5 I right think now. Black is thinking about to castle or to, uh, to put some piece out. Yes. Mm. Uh, well, castle is, is a very natural move, obviously, mm -hmm. and, and the, second, the second move I would strongly consider here is to, to actually take. take on d2 before, before anything, you know, before we, we need to dance around like, like happened in this Grishuk Giri game. Mm -hmm. Was it? It was a rapid game, yeah? So, yeah. so for instance, let, let, let's go through that game that happened. So after knight b3, knight a5, I'm wondering actually why didn't Krishuk go a3 here? Because uh, knight b3. Knight b3, b3 looks forced and now bishop a5 would be almost automatic I think, yes? And white has to take queen back to play b4. Right. So, and uh, this is a good question. Where do we take the queen back? So C2. We could, we could put it on C2. Yeah, D5, black cannot play D5 because E5 pawn is hanging, right? Mm -hmm. So we can go on to C2 is, is a decent move. Yeah, it's a decent place for the queen. And so, and black says, okay, I don't really mind staying with this bishop, with the dark square bishop. Maybe maybe the point is, ah, you know what? The point maybe is that you cannot prevent me for, from playing d5. d5. Would I play b6? Oh no, I can play b6. But, but well, uh, for now, I um, maybe I'm not threatening to play d5 because let's the say the c5 pawn yeah, is still hanging. The c5 pawn is hanging. So, but let's say white plays a move. For instance, if we play before, then maybe even this is a viable option. And, uh, I'm not sure. So basically, oh, black, black, is, black is saying here that Lei has moved. Lei has yeah. moved. Yeah, let's Which see what one? she played, because this is another game and we're not necessarily... Let's refresh. Oh, she took on d2, as we expected, basically, right? So mm -hmm. I think this position uh, need more understanding of this uh, certain position. Yeah. Uh, more than calculation or anything else. Exactly. Yes. This is uh, this is much more of of under understanding of mm -hmm. the plans. Yeah. And. So let's let's talk about the plans for for, for both players here. 
which want to take the bishop back? This is a good question. So natu my natural feeling would be actually to, well, how I decide I take my natural feeling and I uh, do the opposite usually is, is much, it works best. So. Knight. So knight is, uh, is a decent uh, maneuver. So is to maneuver the knight somewhere, uh, it can go, I think we would love to have it like, go like this mm -hmm. at some point. And to make your g2 bishop and more useful. We open or the bishop. The, the problem is, okay, d5. maybe d5 is a bit premature. I feel that I want to castle first before we play d5, because we we might overextend a little bit. For, for instance, let's say queen c2, queen c2 and c5 pounds hay. And exactly, and b6 h1, is a very scary yeah. move to make. H1, a8, dino. Exactly. So. Sorry, I'm That's getting used to good. the shortcuts a little bit. So playing b6 with this uh, with this bishop open is a bit scary, but maybe here it's okay. It's it's not something very uncommon to do. Mm -hmm. But again, with without the I don't like the Quincy two move actually that we made because let's think. So before Black managed to castle, we might. Oh, one more thing that we have to say, I think, is that we, we have to say is that we are not using engines. Mm -hmm. So we might and Just we will do stupid mankind, stuff. Mankind thinking. Exactly. <laughs> we are trying to basically it's it's un, I think we think it's unfair to, to use an engine and, and say, OK, she made a mistake here and there because it, I mean, we are not in an even situation, and we're trying to, to go through all the motions the, the, the player is going through in her thought process. So, for instance, here the engine might say, okay, it's an obvious choice to play this or that, and Tan is taking her time to think about stuff, so we, we are going to do the same. So. Um, so here is, is, is a time to think about how we would place our pieces with white, right? So Normally, I don't think she would take with bishop. I think it's better to put the bishop on b2. So, you so, so you're saying not to take with the bishop, to take with the knight and put the bishop on, the, on b2 in it? Or, yeah, to or take, take on with b2. the queen, or take with, with the queen. Yeah, you could say that three options, uh, all the three options are possible, although mm -hmm. And the queen. Oh, she take with the. It looks. Bishop. She took with the bishop. So. Oh. The queen <laughs> is a little bit awkwardly placed here, right? And, and because it blocks the natural path for the knight to d2. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but and also you, you might say, okay, well, how do you play next? So. B th B3 bishop. and bishop B2 and later maybe E3 yes. D4. This is this is a this is this would be the idea, right? So mm -hmm. for instance, if castle B3 B3 or even maybe A3 B4. A3 D4? B4. Uh -huh. Yes, A3 B4. We sometimes the black will stop that. Actually, with without the knight, without the knight on d2 or, or c3, this a5 move makes much more sense because it doesn't uh, weaken squares for for white's knight. So, mm -hmm. I really like this fact that black doesn't have the for, for black that black doesn't is, have this dark square bishop. It poses much less problems for for black in, in the long run positional problems. So, mm -hmm. I think we, we could safely say that. Black is really not. It's it's about an equal position, I think, because mm -hmm. of of this exchange. So, so bishop before idea is quite clever actually. And uh, so, Tan take with Tan took with the bishop on d two, and we are now. Now Lay is thinking, yes? Yeah. Okay, so the bishop on, on d2, the obvious, the obvious uh, thing it's doing is 
supporting B4. So now A3, B4, or root B1, B4 is, is the main idea for, uh, that for makes white. Sense. Yes? And, aha, H6. this is interesting. H6. Is uh, she want to play bishop E6, yeah. and she want to prevent from knight G5. Exactly. Yeah, so, so for instance, if, if we played bishop e6, which is the most <coughs> natural move in this position, because we want to prepare d5, mm -hmm. in the, and this is the best place to, uh, to put the, the bishop, because the, the queen should go there. Afterwards, the queen goes to d7, and we might actually want yeah. to exchange this beast on g2, right? So, yeah. But the problem with this move on uh, bishop e6 is of knight obviously g5. knight g5, which isn't really, and this is actually the reason perhaps that Tan took with the bishop, bishop on d2 because yeah, she if, would um, have the chance still to play knight g5 exactly because had she taken on d2, then the obvious and the most natural move bishop yeah. e6 is, is possible. And right. now, uh, now uh, Lei had to waste this tempo, this tempo on h7, h6, because after bishop e6, knight g5, we will have to move the bishop somewhere, and the knight can really then transfer, we can transfer the to knight e4, to e4, c3, c3, and to, D5. to the place where it really belongs, right? Yeah. So. Okay, <coughs> so this is, this is interesting, and uh, now after h6, what do we do for white? We have... I think the most obvious uh, plan is a3, root b1, b4, to do something on the queen side. Agreed. Totally agreed. And let's see if we can manage to do that. Okay, so a5. a3, we have a, an option to play a5. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we can even ignore it and meet b4 with some b6 and, and pretend that we are okay, but we have to be ready for that. So mm -hmm. for instance, if we just castle and then on b4, b4 we play b6, then I think we run into a lot of trouble immediately because we just lost lost the game basically yes with knight e5 let's say or something. knight goes Nowhere. we don't <laughs> even have a good place to go because this we just lose a full knight yeah because this cannot be taken and uh, if uh, well on any other move for instance like that then simply knight takes e5 is game over right mm -hmm. so this this bishop is again very proves to be very powerful so we cannot really allow that and obviously b6 is a big blunder but we don't want to allow white to take on c5 and and start pressing on along the b file too much because again for instance, let's say we, we make some development move and then we exchange, so now we can never take play d5 and we can never actually block this bishop anymore. So white will have some small, really small but steady advantage throughout the game. So it, it, the, the bishop will go to c3, <coughs> we'll take the queens out somewhere and we'll start eventually push the pawn and we'll have a very unpleasant uh, unpleasant uh, pressure along the queen side. Black on the other side, on the other hand, will need to try and get some counterplay either in the center and That's or fine. on the queen on the king side, right? Mm -hmm. So, for for instance, let's say what will what should black do in such positions? Obviously, we do not really want to allow that. So, before, a5 right? is just more sensitive Looks to prevent from... Uh, she played a3, yeah. She did play a3, as we expected, and now, okay, so... Better to, to play a5, because if you just allow, black, uh, allow white to play b4, then this position will be difficult for black to handle, both mm. with... Uh, bishop e6 or b6, the position is not really good for black. Okay, I agree, I agree that a5 looks very natural. And uh, we will, let's, let, let's think about it. 
another thing that we can uh, we know that uh, there is such a thing as a bishop pair, right? Yeah. But bishops are strong in open positions, whereas whereas here it's a really closed position, and the bishops are not as strong as all as if all those pawns were absent from the board, um, basically, I right? So, Le has and Lei is listening to us, obviously. A5. <laughs> That's a really I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not sure it's a good strategy for her to listen to us. Uh, <laughs> uh, but this time, yeah, she played A5. It's really <coughs> the most natural move. And the, so, so basically what we're saying is we will probably not be able to... To play rook b1 because a f because of a4. So better to play b3 to prevent from a4 than rook b1. Right, okay. So, the, but this is, uh, first of all, it's slow. And then, okay, and then uh, let me say, okay, and so what? So let's say you do all that, okay? So if I manage to exchange all the pawns from the queen side, you will really have, not have much targets for your attack, right? So, mm -hmm. uh, although still, with this bishop on g2, you will always have an advantage on the, on the queen side, right? Yeah. With white. So, <coughs> and uh, what happens, what often happens in, in these positions is that white will eventually play before. Mm -hmm. uh, one, let's, we can maybe move some pieces. Okay, let, let's say black develops. It's not necessarily the best move, but let's say we do uh, we do that. And now, f so black will want to obviously now b takes uh, c five is a threat because uh, b seven is, is hanging. So we will want to move if if exchanged so we will would like to not have this weakness on b7 right mm -hmm. and we are basically saying okay so you have a slight advantage on the queen side but it's nothing major that i cannot especially since i exchange this bishop because normally in in many positions uh, uh, Without black, the bishop before, yeah, black, black would has have a queen, the, uh, has a bishop on the king's side. Exactly, black would have the uh, bishop somewhere here, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, maybe we can. Uh, let's go all the way back before bishop before. Let's say we played instead of uh, bishop uh, before, so we we would play something like that, and then transpose to a similar position. <laughs> And let's say knight f3, d6, doesn't really matter. So, so th this, this would be a normal English position. But here, even let's say we do all the same things, and let's say that b4 is allowed here, which is not because, but let's say. So even in this position, the knight is so much better than this bishop on g7, mm -hmm. because it can, it, it can, Directly jump to, to d5, d5 to d5 you or can b5, you can uh, build formations with like with this knight going to uh, all this way to d5 and and you can really put pressure on on black in this uh, with this knight on c3 and the bishop on g7 on the contrary here even if you do all that you wanted to do with white so basically, black is saying, okay, but I don't have any weaknesses. Yes, I'm slight, I have slightly less space, but I can definitely hold my own here, I think. And mm -hmm. uh, please show me what you're going to do. So, so, so I think it's Tan's turn to show what, what she's planned for here. And, What's the clock situation? So yeah, and, and they evened out, and they are even on the clocks here, even uh, also I think, right? They both yeah, they they both have uh, an hour and seventeen minutes left. So this is this is very interesting. I think it's it's an important position for white to think, 
Just, just as you say, if White play B4, then she can't achieve much from Queen side. But if she don't play B4, what's the plan? Right. She, she pretty much she, she will have to play B4 sooner or later. Mm -hmm. And uh, how would we want to place our pieces here? So this knight on f3 is obviously misplaced, right? It, yeah. it doesn't have much to go for. It's better to place on d5 or b5 or even c3 to, uh, to, to get ready for any of the square. Right. The problem is that it's very tricky to get the knight to c3, to c3 here. Uh, like, you, will, you would need to move the bishop <coughs> and move the knight, which is something... Uh, sometimes, sorry, sorry, got overexcited with the arrows here. So this is something that can be done, and uh, it has been done many times by Magnus, for instance, such plans. And mm -hmm. suddenly he moves the piece like five, uh, one, two, three, four, uh, five four moves four. just to improve the piece. But here, it's. Maybe there is a better route here for the knight. Maybe uh, this is the more natural way how they do it here One, in this two, position. Three, four. Especially, four. yeah, especially, although on c3 the knight is better placed, and it, it's usually done when, when the knight, there is another knight on c3. Mm -hmm. Now there is no knight on c3. So, um, okay, so these are the plans for white. Uh, you, are, you say b3 is the move? Uh, to play, let's say if if we start the movement immediately, then a four is an optional move to block to to stop white from ever playing before. Because if we play before now, then we take on passant. And again, although we are left with this pawn on b seven, which we can say it's a weakness, although it's very hard to see how white can put any pressure on it. But white has a weakness on, on her own, right, on, on a3. So we can, for instance, uh, once we put, we get out the pieces, for uh, let's say like that, here, be careful, we want to exchange. And uh, And after Black castle, maybe five, uh, f5 or something, attack on the king's side. Yes, we would like to, uh, we would like to create some counterplay, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, with black. <coughs> and uh, Tan played an interesting move. Okay, so, she played b4 immediately, without wasting time on b3 or preparing b4. And this is a pawn sacrifice. Right? Yeah. So if uh, black can uh, take. take, take, and <coughs> take, take the with pawn, right? With knight. the knight. And if you take but then what queen is, a4. There is a, f first of all, queen a4 immediately recapturing, the, the almost c. recapturing. And basically she says, I do not believe you can ever hold this pawn mm -hmm. as black. And maybe there is even something concrete because the black still hasn't castled. So what can we have? We we might have d4 as white here. D4. Is it an, what if an black or like is it e4? Stupid? Okay, now we are in a little bit sharp territory, right? So or we can play d5 or knight d2. Or knight d2. Well, knight I like d2. d5 actually. D5. What do you do? Mm-hmm, yeah. I Instantly. Ah, sorry. Okay, I just blundered. I think I just blundered the whole piece. Queen a5. So, I hope Lei doesn't li listen to us. <laughs> and uh, that's game over, right? Yeah. So because we have to take and then the knight escapes. So, d5 doesn't work. Knight d2 works. Knight d2 works. Knight d2, and then, then you. Ah, what if you're bishop, bishop d7? Bishop d7, but then, okay, I will take. Take. And suddenly, look at all, all the all black pawns. pawns is horrible, and, and again, I'm, I'm and threatening to take on 
For instance, if knight takes d4, then I have this check in, uh, in between, and the queen d4 is, queen b4 is game over, basically, mm -hmm. because you cannot play in such an open position with, with this king. So, e4, I'm not sure e4 is good, but on the other hand, what do you do then? Mm -hmm. White uh, will push the pawn to d5. Maybe again, maybe, yes. Queen the, the, a5. The, the threat is, or maybe, maybe it's not such, such a big threat, actually. As we said, d5 is, can, can always be met with, the, with queen a5. What if castle? So if I castle, just but ignore your uh, your attack. But let's okay. What what d five? Although we win a pawn back with d five, but we just blocked our strongest piece. So we yeah. we, we are misplacing the, those pawns are badly misplaced, right? Mm -hmm. In this end game, uh, white with white bishop and white pawn structure. So it's That's only black with the better with the better bishop, right? Yeah. But okay, maybe it's it's too dogmatic to look at it like this because because white still has some space advantage and black has is a b seven pound that's very uncoordinated. Yeah. Yes. And the b seven pound. So so let's say okay, if we go back, may, but my, maybe black can do it just on time. For instance, Knight b8, I, uh, we are threatening knight a6 to protect the pawn, so you have take to take, it. and then knight a6. And knight c5. And knight will protect. go, will, will feel perfectly on c5. Mm -hmm. Although. Rook d8. What, what is this? If black is on time to play, and I think. He, he, knight d2 he is. to play knight, 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 e4. knight e5. Knight e5, sorry, and, and now knight maybe e4. knight e4 now, yes? Mm -hmm. And we are threatening to take on d6. Basically, we force black to exchange. Ten. But you know what? Even we went a bit too far, I think. <laughs> yeah. Just a bit, just a tiny bit. <coughs> but this, this is an interesting formation because here black has a slightly worse structure on the first sight but on the on the other hand if we manage to regroup for instance uh, something well, like if that i place my king on c7 and to uh, solve the problem with d6 and b7 pound and to free my exactly. rook and bishop then this position can and then suddenly be, white is, 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 white is, is in trouble yeah, because, in, because th of this the is white pounds. something that you can never improve after yeah. b6 so so this uh, this might be might be double edged and oh, they have to make their moves a change. takes before it takes before i think crook takes a1 is uh, almost automatic or not maybe she will she doesn't want to give up the a file no, yeah okay we have a software glitch obviously not rook a2 was not played so, yeah, the game went, obviously. Rook <coughs> takes a1, queen takes a1. The technical team will fix it soon, I think. And, uh, okay, so what do we do with black? Do we take on b4 and try to go into this? Let's take a... S Is there any other choice with black if okay. she don't take the power? Well... Yes, <laughs> but uh, with this, after uh, this exchange and with white controlling the A, the A file and even if we allow uh, the B file as well, mm -hmm. it might be white is tiny bit slightly unpleasant. better because black uh, still didn't castle. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. the problem. She can't put her rook out to to conquer the A file or B file. You see, that, that's a problem when you make moves like h6. Mm -hmm, in the, in the, yeah, it makes the, uh, the, the whole opening slow. You sometimes you feel like, you know, you're always one tempi short, you know, to, yeah. to, to, to complete all, all you need. So, but, although here I'm not sure it's of such an importance because, okay, let's say 
even we do we want to even play b6 here or we can allow no we cannot allow b takes c5 because hmm? the e5 pawn is, is hanging is there something wrong with the live position? yeah yeah the, the, the live transmission was wrong that's what i said there, there was a glitch instead of Rook takes a1, uh -huh. the board read as uh, rook a5 and rook a2. They, uh, hopefully yeah. they will fix it soon. So the, the actual position is obviously the one that we have on our board, which is not this one, but this one. Yeah. Take. And another thing that uh, Lei has to choose now is whether she wants to take with the pawn maybe on before and mm -hmm. then the the idea is that if you play queen a4 is there's no check there's no check it's uh -huh. harder to recapture yeah or if on, you play rook b1 to capture this pawn but this yeah exactly this uh, this pawn will eventually fall obviously and uh, and then you are saying, okay, which structure do I want to play? I, do I want to play it with the, like this, with uh, exchanging this knight for this bishop, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Or do I maybe want, but having this pawn on b7 that is uh, that is, is an obvious tar target, right? Mm -hmm. Or do I want to maybe <coughs> play b6, b6. here and, yeah, and give the... give up this? Either this uh, or even this spatial advantage, right? So mm -hmm. white white can have this advantage because, again, let's let's I take a look at this. I think this position is better for white because the the whole queen side is like give up for black it's, and and your pieces are still not ready for the attack. Agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. and On one side. On the other hand, I would argue that, okay, so you have this space advantage here, fine. Yeah. What are your entrance points? So I will now play, or I will try to play bishop b7. Maybe mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not in time, but Take maybe I'm not knight. in time, yeah? So, so basically, she took with the knight. And queen oh. a7. a7, yeah. So this is. This That's is an unpleasant yeah? It's very position. unpleasant because you don't really have moves here. Yeah. So this, we, we can say that would be a dream position for white here, right? Mm -hmm. and then slowly bring the rook to... Actually, you know, you can, you can argue even that this is a threat now. Because of how powerful this bishop on, D, on g2 is, mm -hmm. so it's some, sometimes even rook a6, k, this, and exchange... Ex exchange the pound to a6. The exchange sacrifice, yeah, and then mm -hmm. the, you say, okay, but now try to stop my pawn with this support of the bishop. It's, it's not obviously, it's not really easy to, to do that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, b6, I really don't like the move unless black has something really concrete which I don't see. Right? I so don't this, think this would black do, can still part. handle this position. That's really difficult if she plays b6. Yeah, the, agreed. The white bishop is so strong. Okay, so we will have to Take, take one with, way or another. Yeah, right? with knight or with pawn. Okay, we started with the knight. Let's see again uh, more in detail. So this is the obvious. Actually, mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, queen a4 looks natural. Maybe we could try to d4. see what happens with d4 because I like the way the queen plays here. And I would love uh, to exchange to leave you, you know, with um. with these pawns, I would really <laughs> love to, to. Although I'm a pawn Double down pounds. now, but it really feels that they'll start fall, falling very fast now. Because, mm -hmm. for instance, I can, I can attack either pawn, yeah. Um, but again, a pawn is a pawn, as they say. So, 
for instance, okay, let's, uh, let's show some variations. So root d1, we can have knight c6. Take. And now, okay, so you want just back the pawn, but suddenly this, this pawn is not a weakness anymore. It's, it's, a, it's a strong pawn. Very advanced passer, yeah, so. Actually, I like black here, you know? Me too. <laughs> <laughs> and the, if, if our next move is rook d8, and then, okay, catch me if you can. <laughs> I mean, or if rook a8, that's or rook also a8 a threat. Even, yeah, yeah, and, and let's, uh, let's see who's playing for a win suddenly, yeah? So, okay, so d4, maybe rook d1 is a bit premature. And maybe we can try to... But then again, okay, so if knight the knight C6. goes to 6-6... Six, six, you can never catch we, my b4 pound. Are and we really in any danger here? Yeah, like. and it's going to be a threat to, uh, to white. If, if you leave black before a pass pawn. Yes, uh, we, we definitely don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. But nobody is asking us here, I think. <laughs> we are past this time where anybody asked us. <coughs> Okay, so how do we recapture here? She obviously has something in mind. And... Uh, okay, so... May, uh, maybe, ah, maybe, you know what? Okay, maybe, maybe before, if you take, I take with the knight. It's much better. Mm -hmm. It's a much more clever way to play this. Yeah. So we prevent here, we, we would prevent a uh, knight nice. from going to c6 because we just take twice. Mm -hmm. And the, now our pieces are really well positioned, right? So yeah. you, you will have to castle because you cannot play without the castle. And also this diagonal, the, the queen is, uh, is eyeing g7, so you better, better castle. Mm -hmm. And uh, rook b1 natural b1. move, or rook even now maybe, Ah, this might be interesting because knight now b5. knight b5, knight d6 is ah, is actually a threat, right? Yeah. Because with the knight on d6, you remember the famous Karpov Kasparov game with the octopus knight on d3 when he put it. So, so it might be very similar here if, if the knight goes to d6 supported by c4, c5. Mm -hmm. now, now, actually, I like white's position a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Me too. The d6 and b7 remains problem. So, okay, so d4 might be the, the base, the idea. So we don't want to recapture the, bishop, the, the, knight in, the pawn on b4 immediately. We want to play d4. And if we can, that <coughs> could be very... By the way, because of that, so for, for instance, e4 is a bit, I don't really like this move. Uh-huh, no, with knight d2. Knight to d2, yeah. And now, you're gonna do we lose protect? f5. f5, then your king is hanging. Ick. If and I play... Eventually, uh, eventually, yeah, it, uh, it will go like that. And uh, again, the pawn, the pawn, this pawn is really doesn't really matter here. At the, I think at so much because we we can recapture it basically anytime we want. Just yeah. attack it, and, and it's ours. And the bigger problem is with the king. And the king after f five. F five is is a very committal move because. Mm -hmm. Uh, it opens up the king from both uh, the diagonal and later on when the rook goes to a7 it will uh, sometimes it will always be this thing that you have to take care of in uh, yeah. the seventh rank because mm -hmm. the the king is so weak so if f5 is not a move we would love to make especially if that <coughs> With but again un unless there is something very concrete here so for instance, if you say, okay, on rook b1, 
we can play. And again, but you know, to put those pawns on on on, on the bishop squares, and and then okay. So now, if even if we play something like d five, it know. will only make your position even, worse because worse. all the pawns are are hanging, yeah. and your king's more uh, it's not difficult. So, not so good, right? Mm -hmm. So okay, so. D4 e4, is, e4. Is, is after d4 move. after d4 i don't think black can play e4 what can he play uh, some massive exchanges maybe try to initiate some massive exchanges like that but again with i feel that we cannot really do this without castling mm -hmm. cuz for instance okay for for instance here check. there's this check <coughs> Knight c6, uh, you're uh, losing Lose a pawn, pawn, right? So this one, and then I'll just capture another one. So mm -hmm. you're suddenly minus one. Not so good. And if, and what else? If this, then queen takes b4. And again, now you're playing, you're simply a pawn. You will probably end up a pawn down, although Often, what will happen is that you will lose those two. So, for instance, if we exchange one pawn and then we somehow lose the other one, mm -hmm. maybe not immediately, but eventually we will lose it. And then you say, okay, so I'm a pawn down, but this is only four on three and it can be held. This is, this, it will be a draw with you with white's advantage. So, basically, but what you're saying, but. Black um, can be really difficult to hand the game. It's. Uh, it, yeah, it's not something that Black King uh, wants to go through, but again, this is not an automatic win by no means. So. Mm -hmm. uh, I have, I have an idea. Okay. What if when you play d4, I just ignore you to play castle? Ah, everybody's um, ignoring me. Okay, I will take. Uh, like, uh, take or queen sees. Seven. Queen c seven? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you want to take your c4 power. I want to take my c4 pawn, but I will not let you, I think. Because I want my rook to uh to to come out to d eight square. Okay, but let's see if you can do that. Uh, let's say after you told me what you want to do, uh, I can meet it with Queen C5. Queen maybe? C5. And now let's say even something like that. How do you feel here? Um, still difficult. I'm not sure you're happy here with black at all. Obviously, you cannot take on C4 mm -hmm. because the, the knight is hanging, right? Mm -hmm. So. If if you exchange, then white is all over the board. Uh, what if right? b6? b6 is, is the natural move. Yeah, I just wanted to, to show the, the, the viewers that if black takes on e5, <coughs> then... Uh, well, it's very difficult for black because, first of all, it's an equal material already, mm, right? And your b4 pawn the, is the b4 pawn will easy to protect. Yeah, that's, <laughs> uh -huh. you're very generous with black hair. I think it's impossible <laughs> to protect you anymore. And, uh, and then you will probably have a very difficult time, very hard time protecting the big one. Mm -hmm. And the, you will be even, I think you will be lucky to get to four and three here because C4 pawn is not going anywhere yet. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, uh, so you say, okay, of course, B6. we do not take on E5. We play B6. Which is a good move. And now we have to find a strong move for white. And for black, I will play maybe knight g6 next to force yeah. you exchange my my queen. Yeah, but you know, I'm not sure you <coughs> can. Ah, that's actually it's it's interesting. Let's let's. Mm -hmm. For instance, I play rook d6, rook you play knight g6, right? Yeah. 
now I wanted initially I wanted to take but now I I, uh, I feel that your B pawn is can be very dangerous B3 and then if you take my C5 pawn maybe I'll play bishop D7 yeah not letting me to the B file yeah. right and uh, and later on, I can play rook b8 to support my b3 pawn. Yeah, now you 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 have some counterplay, although you are still a pawn down. Not still, you are a pawn <laughs> down. And of course, the b the b pawn is so strong um, that it gives you a lot of that, compensation, yeah, right? You, you have to play b2, b2 or b8, b2, b2 and rook a8. Uh, yeah. b8 oh no, a8, right? I can play rook a8. <laughs> There's Aha, a show. You see? <laughs> right. So that was our trick. <laughs> but okay, again, but uh, you still have the, the uh, although this uh, oh, knight on g6 is a bit misplaced. Yeah. I, I think white should be able to. To stop it conveniently, like that. Uh huh. And now, if rook b8, then I'm happy to. So let's see. Uh, I'm happy to exchange. And now, if knight e5. Uh, knight, knight e5. E5. I want my ah, misplaced want to uh, uh, knight to, to come out. Yes. And I might not. Okay, but what what is this position? You were obviously let's let's show you were threatening to take uh, on yeah, knight c4. c4 right, and this knight would be overloaded because mm -hmm. it has to cover the b1 square and then and, and the c pawn. And even on the, on just a c5 move, then knight c4 is still very strong because yeah. it forces the knight to b1, and then we can probably do something. <laughs> something uh, like. That. Uh, bishop c2. Threatening bishop c2, you will have to go protect. And now we bring the king to stop the c pawn. Mm -hmm. I feel we're a bit too far, just a little bit. <laughs> but it's a nice position, so, and we have time and lays thinking. Okay, so, but. Um, So yeah, so, so <coughs> this is an option, but white is pressing, right? Mm -hmm, so yeah. white, white is pressing, even if sometimes it's not enough. I'm not <coughs> sure black really wants to get into all this. And, and it's probably the variations that she's calculating now, because d4 is very concrete and very fast if it, if it goes through. I and think she it... took on b4 with the knight. I was just going to suggest Right, the live board says knight take knight some before, knight although before. we don't yet have. Yeah, she she took it. I was going <coughs> to say that maybe because of all of that, uh, we would like to take with the pawn. But then again, d4, d4. is uh, we don't we don't really prevent d4. Oh, but if what if now I play e4? Now e4 is much more sensible yeah, because you don't have the uh, the, the natural square on e2. But but. I can still go <coughs> like that. I think there's a slightly uh, difference because I can play d5 now. Can I? You can try for sure. Mm -hmm. you but take you know queen what? D5. Queen d5. Knight c2. And you're saying, okay, you're not getting the pawn back anytime <laughs> anymore, right? Yeah. So this is interesting. But you know what? what's interesting here? Mm -hmm. is that because we still have the bishop pair, now when the position will open, we finally get what the bishops are good for. Mm -hmm. So, I can for instance, if you I take on before, there are some similar lines in the, in the, in the Catalan, I think, mm -hmm. where black <coughs> uh, manages to, to block this bishop on g2, mm. and then white... Uh, even with the two pawns, but still, for instance, here, the, uh, this bishop is, th that's the beauty of the, uh, why two bishops are con uh, considered to be so strong. Mm -hmm. Because whenever you block one, you open the other one. You mm. cannot block yeah. both. So it's, it's you very can hard block to, both of them. Exactly. It's very hard to block both of them. So, 
This might have been an idea, but anyway, she chose to eliminate the bishop right away, and then probably because of all those ideas that she do she doesn't want to to have this to live white with this long term advantage. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so knight takes before is on the board, if we are correct. And white is thinking. Is there any other option except bishop b4? Yeah, maybe d4 immediately. Uh -huh. Ah, but, but then knight c2. No, knight c2 oh, is queen ah, a4. It's a blunder. I, did, I didn't try it. To, to, I, I also blundered it. Uh -huh. But uh, knight queen a4 again. Yeah. Well. The lack of castle on time is is posing some problems to black. So d4 maybe it's even. More, a more clever way to go because mm. it's you want black to speak before you you commit to something. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, now <coughs> if she takes, then okay, then you go straight to, to, to this the position disposition, that you, that position. Like. Uh -huh. And if she doesn't take, then you keep the option of okay, I didn't say I want to exchange your knight because uh. I would ideally, obviously, if if we manage to win back a pawn, I would maybe love to keep the bishop, mm -hmm. right? If mm -hmm. to, to the strong bishop on right. c3. And black still have the chance to castle, to ignore the exchange on the center. Yeah, so okay. <coughs> Let's say if we castle, so now if... Okay. So first we can always transpose to this, right? Yeah. To what we've seen, and we are not sure what it is, but we think white is better there, although... Mm -hmm. We can maybe analyze it a bit more later. So, and what are the options? Ah, you know what? Maybe, maybe we can win a tempo here. Win a tempo? Look at this. We can start with rook d1. Or did we do that? No, we didn't do that. Mm -hmm. And we now I can did. take, how did it happen? Uh, Where did we lose the tempo previously? Because your queen was already on c5 in the previous variation, right? Why is one move ahead, right? Yeah, but how, how, how did oh. we get <laughs> <laughs> Where did, did we miss? So we, we were looking at this, and then d4, castle. Ah, you played queen c7. Uh -huh. You tricked me. But maybe he takes d6 is not the best move here. Okay, so queen c7. Ah, oh, for example, rook d1. Ah, oh, rook d8. Oh, okay, by the way, so in this, uh, if we play d4 immediately, well, first of all, we, we need to answer what happens here. Let's concentrate that. Play the knight back. Use the back. And now, my idea is that on if this, you take, then you can I can take either take e5. with the <coughs> even with the knight maybe, or even with d5. Mm -hmm. With d e5, then you don't have this uh, oh, recapture you because d2 bishop d2 hanging. is hanging, right? And there are no immediate tactics mm -hmm. to compensate for the piece. So this would be good for black. And if not, then. I'm claiming that you're just a pawn down. Can I claim that? Mm, not really. Huh. What if I you take the DC5 uh, C5 power and then bishop e3? Okay, but I have a very nice. Uh -huh. Oh, maybe. Mm. Mm, 95, 95, 92. Uh, I'm pretty happy. I think your e, e2 knight can't go back home. <laughs> no, it will go back home. Oh, really? I think it will go home. So, how, you ask? Well, let me answer. I go like that. But you didn't... A complete castle. Yeah, that's a, that's a problem with my mm -hmm. position, I admit. But I have a pawn up. 
Rook D1. Rook D1. Not for long, you say. But okay, let's say even if I give you back this pawn, okay? So you want it back, fair and square. Rook D4. Rook D4. Am I really in any trouble here? No, I don't think so. Mm, it should be a. Uh... I think equal, it should be very easy equal, equal equality here because the pawns are equally strong and weak. Mm -hmm. They will be swapped probably, and then you're three on three. Yeah, you have slightly more active pieces, but I think black is it's very fine. safe here. Yeah, mm -hmm. unless there is some sudden mate here, but I don't believe there is. Anything concrete and serious here. So, what is probably uh, calculating d4? Uh, yeah, okay, so d4, we said on the one hand we keep some options, but on the other hand we give black this option of uh, not ruining the, the <laughs> pawn structure, right? Mm -hmm. so, So let, let, let's dig a little bit deeper here. First of all, are we sure that d4 is the move we want to... There was really... In, yeah, queen a4 is not really promising yeah. us anything. Queen a4 always makes sense because you win the pound back and you still have better positions and pound structures. It well, always makes but, sense. Yeah, but... I don't think... We give you back the pawn, right? So d4, and now d4, and that's what we analyze, right? So here on d4, we have either e4, mm -hmm. or maybe I'm thinking now maybe queen a5 right away. What do you think about it? Take the queen and take e5 pound. Take the queen. Take on uh -huh. e5, knight takes c4. Uh -huh. Am I in That's any totally trouble? Here? Equal. Rook c1, b5, I have, right? Or even. <coughs> Bishop e6. No, b5 is probably. Hmm. Ah, right. b5, knight d4, and bishop e6, knight d4 as well, right? Mm -hmm. So. Um. Hmm. What is this? What is this position? So we we have we are pawn up, but <laughs> it feels like we're gonna lose a bunch here. It's really complex with the pieces hanging. Yeah, but okay, let's say okay, we don't E3. We are not of the scared. Kind. And now the, the idea take, is that on take, take I have this intermediate move. Uh, knight g7. Knight g7, you also have intermediate moves. Mm -hmm. Now rook b1. And I take. play. And then you probably will attack me somehow, right? Uh, Take the pawn first and then play bishop d5. No, if you take. I the, mean, d, oh, take the d6. Yeah, okay, pound. because yeah, if you take this b pawn, you never, you never, <laughs> never do gonna that because take then, that back. Uh -huh. then take the d6. b pawn, the b7 pawn is the only pawn that saves you for now. So you want to take on d6? Yeah. And ah, then, but now I have a tempo, a very important one. Oh, I, I'm gonna lose the game. Uh, but it's still not over because uh, you have a pawn on your own now. And now on rook a1 you have bishop e4 and I lost, I think. Mm -hmm. And now knight d2 rook. Ah, oh, that's a nice variation. King f8. L look. Ah, king f8 is also nice. But l I wanted oh. to show this. Where this is nice variation. This. Bishop f1. King g <gasps> Taking ah. G2, but we have knight G1, F1. 
Ah, this is beautiful, right? Oh, yeah, nice. Easy. And this is so nice wow. to do such stuff, and this is a nice mate. <laughs> because it's not our pieces, we can do whatever <laughs> we want. <laughs> um, but I think there were a few problems with this idea. And the first problem is, first of all, white can just play just queen. Mm -hmm. Right? And yeah. uh, we are take the queen. smoked because and this take is me lost. To it's just a pawn up and the, the second one is falling. Not yet. Knight c4. Knight c4. I will not blunder. Uh -huh. This time I will not blunder. <laughs> Next time. But I think, no, I think white is clearly, well, maybe not immediately winning, but it should be winning. A B. Six? Yeah, but you are a pawn down and uh, you're not oh, a witness, yeah. and so with a good technique, mm -hmm. it should be winning. Um, and uh, somebody remembers how we got here. Okay, okay, so so we played. <coughs> uh, we tried queen a5. I, I still think it might be interesting because not this crazy line that we went for. Ah, but then this, this is, so bishop b7 is bad. You took on d6, right? And I mm -hmm. went rook a8, d7, knight d2. Mm -hmm. But uh, wait, ah, but why d7? We have rook a1 still. And then you cannot play d8 queen because then, let's show it, then we just take... take. Bishop and even take on take f1 them. or make, yeah, take on f1. Take. King takes and queen and we are winning with black. But mm -hmm. the problem with this line is that on rook a1, white can stop it. Whereas black has nothing to prevent the pawn from queening, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So as you said, here we might want to consider king f8, yeah, king f8 or, or king, king f6, f6, right? <coughs> ah, but now we have this. And rook a1 is uh, queen yeah. check, which is very important, otherwise it wouldn't work. So, and in this scenario, or is it not still so clear? Go back, but still, again, we will trade this one for this one, and white is just a pawn up, right? Mm -hmm. I, yeah. Or even if I play it correctly, it would be two pawn up. So this is game over. Um, okay, so b three. Ah, but wait, why did I go? Maybe we can play king something more. D8? Oh, no, no, no. King, king, I was thinking about king, king D7, D7 seven. and rook A8, but yeah. maybe it's not enough because, okay, so you go. You always have this bishop before it stops everything, so. I don't believe we can have enough counterplay here. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we went so far. <laughs> a bit too far, yeah. Yeah. But, well, you know, but it's it's a very critical. I think it's a critical uh, position because after Queen A4 and D4, you have to to decide what you do with Black. Mm -hmm. Because and because we said E4, we didn't really like, right? Mm -hmm. Let's. Revisit that position. So e4, ah, d5 was just a blunder. Right? d5 is a blunder because we take and queen a4. Ah, but wait. d5 
if we take, maybe we can take here. This. Check. Bishop d7. Bishop d7. Nah, we are running out of pieces, right? Well, not we. Tan uh, is running out of pieces here, so. Queen a8? Yeah, but uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a whole and, rook and, and bishop up. And so. castle. And finally, castle that wins the game. <laughs> have you ever won a game with a castle? No, never. <laughs> These are her Okay, so. That's nice. 20 castle resigns. <laughs> um, okay, so d5 is not, yeah, d5 is just a blunder. So, and if we go uh, 92, Five again, you know. Mm -hmm. These are they're the usual problem with this move, and especially now because you said f five, yeah. Mm -hmm, f five d five. I can force you, and and now I think your knight might be in trouble. Uh, ah, it actually you have b six, and you can. But okay, for instance, let let's see this and rook a four. How uh, you wanna how happy are you here? Play. From one to ten, how happy are you? Uh, King D eight. King D eight, and you want to King cover, C yes. Seven, yeah. And then. And then you are saying, okay, I told you that I can cover this pawn, but you will have these. Let's even. This structure forever. Yeah, forever <laughs> until I take them. And yeah, then, but you have your weaknesses of your own. So with some precise play. What is it? So no, now we, if we can keep the knights on the board, white has but white, white needs to, to find a way to transfer the knight to d4 and not, not exchange it. Uh, f3, what about? f3 right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's reasonable. Um, not really. If you take, then I can take with knight because bishop a6, c4 pound. Yeah, but I, I was thinking that I'm more than Sacrifice happy to give well. it away. Yes. Uh, and now, is that enough? I'm not sure. That that I don't know. I didn't say anything. <laughs> knight e6 and take now the g7. I was thinking knight e6 taking here. I can take on f5 right away. <coughs> mm -hmm. And I can... I even wanted to play this, but this is just a cheapo. Well, you obviously are not going to blunder, right? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not going to play this. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that then there is no point in this move, obviously, if you're not playing the blunder. But yeah, I, I like your 96. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like it a lot because now you ruin the whole structure. And and still attack the f5 pawn, and you it's not easy to protect it. Yeah, that's what I have to say. Yeah. And. Each of black pound are single. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but on the other hand, we can maybe say, okay, but we have this d5 pawn, b pawn, mm -hmm. that can run really fast. You know what they say? It's, it's more uh, of uh, it's more related to rook and games mm -hmm. when. So one side has like many pawns on one side and the other has just one, but it, fa mm -hmm. it runs faster than mm -hmm. all the other pawns. So maybe here... What if I play knight d6? Let's have a try. Let's try it. Ah, knight c4 you want to play. No, what do you want to do? Uh, knight f7? 
I was thinking about Knight F7, and then I saw Rook F8. <laughs> it's a blunder. Uh, rook F8, or even yeah, Rook F8 is good. Mm -hmm. it's good enough. That's not a good idea. No, well, well, actually, you can say, okay, now I'm. Not I have many pawns. You have many pawns, but, but the only four, one that matters uh, yeah, is, uh, is this one. So we we'll take like that, and let's see. We can even make some smart move or pretend to make it smart to prevent bishop from going mm -hmm. to before. And your bishop and, and kings are both blocked with, exactly. with so my knight and rook. So basically you can have even five more pawns here, I don't care. <laughs> just queen. And yeah, then. all the white pieces are blocked on the king's side and nothing can do to, do, to, to, to help the, the black pawn yeah, to huh? be nice a queen. Position. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we lose with white. Uh, but of course, we don't have to do that, and the 96 was just a trial. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but again, <laughs> because our, our king is so far away, and we don't have a, a, a convenient way, <coughs> or maybe we do. We can maybe king start bringing two. it, yes. Yeah? Now we go down somewhere. Uh, how do we want to block? Maybe on B2. B2. But I have a feeling that only black is playing for a win here because... White is one pawn up, but, yeah, but she uh, don't have a pass pawn. And I can... For instance, uh, I mean, my play is so straightforward mm -hmm. that... Uh, and <coughs> the, the pieces, the black pieces are so much better, so uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looks very, very good for white. Uh, so, okay, so what is, this was obviously not all forced. Uh, this variation comes and from when we played f5 for black. We played f5. Okay, so uh, bishop b4, uh, c4 is on the board. Mm -hmm. And now, okay, so she didn't, she didn't oh, play queen four. Mm -hmm. She went for this other variation that we considered uh, mm -hmm. as our main, actually, right? Mm -hmm. So d yeah. four is there were so there were two uh, promising lines, and uh, is there anything apart from d four here for white? D four, queen a four, or rook b one. I rook think three one. sensitive moves for uh, for white position. Yeah. One so if if we play rook b1 or queen a4, knight c6, and I will play d4 again. <coughs> and always you want to play d4 with the claiming that you will have a better structure. Mm -hmm. But rook b1, you know what uh, what I don't really like about rook b1? Mm -hmm. You give me this tempo sometimes to uh -huh. to develop my piece. I'm not sure it's so strong. But uh, I would, uh, in, in the game, I would think that maybe, you know, maybe the rook will belong on d1. So if, mm -hmm. if I'm playing to play d4, then I say, okay, why not immediately? Because after, after rook, rook b1, knight c6, what are my options? Mm -hmm. Do I have a better plan move than d4? Knight d2. But okay, but what do I want? So I want to trade trade on c6 and recapture on b4, and mm -hmm. I'm not better there, right? Or maybe knight e1 to play knight c2. Knight e1 c2. Okay, no, this is, this is a viable option. And, uh, but maybe I can try to start. Targeting your your own pawns. Although the the tempta temptation to to castle is very big. Castle. Knight c2. Knight c2. Now okay. Now I can attack maybe, or pretend to attack. Mm. 
that's a problem for white. If I play f3, then I lose my good yeah. bishop. Yeah. I don't want to do that. But if I play king f1, that's a weird position. Yeah, but it's a common move to protect, actually. Mm -hmm. And you are claiming that, OK, once you take on before, you will have this <coughs> advantage, and you have not ruined your pawn structure, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. So you take it slow, but more conventional and, and a more positional way. And what can, what will I do? So I want to, how do I want to see my pieces here? Queen A8, what about this one? Ah, I love it. I, I wanted to it. Uh, have the A file. Yes, and, and there is a, also a tactical justification. Yeah, if you take then, I have rook a1. Yes, you cleverly mated. Okay, so. Well, it helps, yeah, when you have a castle and a rook in the game. Mm -hmm. it's up. You have one more piece to join Very the surprisingly. Tag. <laughs> it's, it's yeah. a, so when they say castle in the opening, they know something. <laughs> Castle is not only to protect your king, but also to free your cast, uh, ca uh, free your rook. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. So queen a8 is a very strong move here. Mm -hmm. You know, the, 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 this is the type of moves that once they are made, you you immediately know it's a strong move, right? Mm -hmm. Everything starts to work. So yeah. And that's one of those moves. Oh, she made the move, rook b1. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. She made it. So now Tan is listening to us. Huh? <laughs> She's probably Bad strategy, listening. girls. <laughs> okay. So yeah. rook b1. I think d4 and So she and goes queen, for, the more, for the more normal. Yeah, line, yeah. The queen a4 and d4 more directly, and you wanted the attack position. Yes. Then rook b1 is slower, but. Uh, if you think more, it's more sensitive. It it's, made it's more sense, sensible. Concept, more sensible, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Agreed. So, knight c6, is, is this uh, our main move here? Mm -hmm. Do we have an alternative? Not much, actually, right? Yeah. Or maybe, maybe you know what? Maybe we want to... Another option we might have is to, okay, um, to say you put your go bishop take on it, C7. but C6. I want to take the, to put the bishop on C6 mm -hmm. and, and, and get rid of this beast. That's a good idea for black. The drawback is that even now, even after we change the bishops, then B7 is, is an eternal target for mm -hmm. us, right? So let's say we play queen b2, castle. Or queen castle, and what, knight e1, knight d2, I cannot really decide because <laughs> this one goes, Maybe it's still knight e1 sense. to go to c2, e3, d5, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and then we also... <coughs> On the other hand, okay, but black does not have to react at all, right? So, uh -huh. and and D two also makes sense. B one, C three, D five, or B five. Yes, but you know what? It doesn't matter oh. because she played. She played nice C six. So they. Uh, this is more natural. This. this is a very natural move, mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's actually, it's also the move that we analyzed, and and now white can think about either knight. going slowly with knight e1 mm -hmm. c2 mm -hmm. or trying to break through immediately with d4 mm -hmm. which is a much more committal move for white as well right mm -hmm. because yeah. it, it immediately ruins well there, there are a few things that need to be noted here because after d4 first of all you are saying, okay, my best case scenario here is probably to exchange those two pawns for those for those four, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And then get this four on three, which 
if we also exchange all the other pieces and even left with in the rook end game, it's a draw, it's a theoretical draw. And, and four on three is really not so easy to win. Although, obviously, it's something that she would love to get. So, and uh, of course, four and three on one side, four and three on different sides is, is a whole different story. Uh, so, so d4 is, is very committal, and she will take her time, I think, to calculate here. And the other approach, is, as, you, as you said, is to play knight e1 and mm -hmm. to try to build the pressure, uh, the pressure, the pressure a bit slower, but mm -hmm. slowly but surely, right? Yeah, this way don't change the structure of the pound and you remain this structure to uh, keep your, your position steady. Exactly. And, and, and you're saying, okay, so I think, you know what, I think what Black might want to do is even, okay, we can try with bishop g4, as we said, mm -hmm. or we can say, okay, Castle. but even, let's say, okay, I don't have... Bishop d7. Yeah, I don't have much that I want, but yeah. I want to wait for you to take on b4, then I will take on b4, and, and I will bishop play c6. bishop c6, and I will claim, okay, and now what? And this is... A quite equal position. And yeah, because if you take, I will not lose it probably, mm -hmm. unless, again, unless it, there is something extremely forced <laughs> and immediate uh, that you just, which might actually happen, you know, mm -hmm. if, if, I, if I think about it, for instance, if you, um, if you start Queen ah, A8, queen still eight this again, one. <laughs> again, Queen A8 is a super move. Mm -hmm. After castle, always have queen a8. Yes. And now either rook b6 or rook a4, doesn't matter. Pretty After much exchange the forced. queen, I think it's um, almost equal move uh, or yeah. draw position. Maybe it's even not even equal, but it's a draw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what matters. So white might be uh, 0.1 pawn better. So mm -hmm. It should be equal. So maybe maybe this is the plan. We can we can try bishop g4, you know, and then mm -hmm. poke it a little bit and, and then see what happens. And let white decide if if she plays f3 or king f1. And then we can always go back to b7. So, okay. So, what do you think? We want to take some uh, short break for announcements and mm -hmm. for maybe yeah for for some commercials. Or in, uh, we'll be back soon. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, we'll take a break. We'll be back. Soon. Stay tuned.
Welcome back to the final match of the Fiddy Women's Candidates Tournament. Uh, this is the first round, uh, and we're going to continue with the game. Okay, so uh, there were two moves uh, during the break, and as we expected, mm -hmm. yes, uh, Tan, actually she chose to, she mixed, well, not really as we expected, as I, as I think about it, uh, because she played rook b1 instead of d4 immediately, and, and, and then she continued d4, and bishop f5 is uh, what we said that one of the drawbacks of, of the rook on b1, because it gives black the option to, to develop, to develop with, the, with the tempo, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously nothing really bad happened, but... Mm. I think it's a bit unpleasant for white. Now this choice that she has to make. She obviously was, she, she probably has something prepared. My first reaction would be to go rook d1. Rook d1. Go but, then, but then it could be tricky. For instance, if rook d1 and bishop c2 and you suddenly I'm not sure you can win back. Mm -hmm. and, and black, black will play b3. Oh, it's not over, obviously. But look, I think I have some nice variation for us. It's not our pieces, right? So, okay, mm -hmm. let's click. A5. White. Can't take. If white take, then... B2. I can. I don't think you can stop it. Mm, I don't think white can stop from B2. You have to move. Ah, maybe only sacrifice. Ah, you have this move, maybe. Now if... B2. Yeah, but this is, is lost. And I just take on C4. Da-da-da-da. Mm. B, B5? Yeah. Ah, tricky, you tricky. <laughs> you are so tricky. I thought I won, but I actually lost. <laughs> hmm. Wait, okay, so, but I have this move. Oh. Do I have this move? Oh. Um, wow. You do? What did you say exactly about slow positional game? <laughs> is, this, is this your understanding of a slow position game? My understanding of slow position means knight e1, and she played <laughs> right, d4. Right, right, she blundered. Yeah, I, I don't think d4 is a really good choice. Ah, well, it's, uh, maybe. But okay, is, is this winning it for black or not? No, because, uh, no, ah, okay, ah, look, this and rook b2, b2. now I'm attacking b8. Both. It's still not over. Bishop d5. Bishop d4. Or king one. King, king, king maybe somewhere. Yeah, king but where? E7. King e7. Is king e7 is problematic. Look why. Here I have this check. Uh huh. King and now d8. King d8. Haha. <laughs> and what is this? It looks like a draw. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Looks like a draw. Okay. Even, even actually, black has to work. Mm -hmm. Maybe even. Ah, it's. It, it will be a draw because you just keep, keep attacking, or maybe even play some solid move uh, instead of rook d2. Oh, the rook d2 is good, then move the pawn away and start attacking the bishop, so... Mm -hmm. It should be a draw. It should be a draw. Okay, uh, it's a forced, obviously. And how did we get here? Even okay. Rook D one. Aha, Rook D one. Uh, we played Rook D one, but mm -hmm. Tan is taking her time, which is surprising because when she played D four, she must have calculated or Bishop F. I don't believe she. It? 
I don't think she blundered it, but on the other hand, are you calculating e4? I am now. Uh -huh. After you said it, okay, and you want to do what? E1. Rookie one. Interesting. Really? But first, first thing, uh, yeah, okay, a, I can take and castle, castle and I say, okay, what do you want from here? Nothing. I think the most you can hope for is to equalize with white and I don't see how. Mm -hmm. Two healthy pawns. Well, not very healthy, but two pawns. So. Two pawns, so you can... You can win one. One, one, win one mm. back and another, another should be difficult to win back. Okay. What is the plan then? Rook d1 looks natural. Rook b2, we again will lose, right? Mm. Rook b3. So by the process of elimination, we rook can... B3 rook b3 is again bishop, uh, bishop c2. Oh, rook e3. Ah. Uh -huh. That's the difference between uh -huh. d1 and b3. You have another choice. But again, I have this move you don't like. I know you don't like it. What if I avoid this exchange of queen? Your choice. You're right. Um, or if I... Um, but this how? This position is different. I can exchange it because you. my, my rook has a better position? Yeah, but um, I'm, I'm threatening yeah, on to, if, if knight c4, knight c4 is, is, is a very important tempo okay. here, so. And I just caught your rook, I think. Uh, rook has been <laughs> yeah. No. In the middle of the board. This is nice. Oh, no. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> the rook is captured on e3. So, and, and if you move. I can take. Then b3, and you really. What if. Oh, yeah, b3. And I don't think. So, for instance, I have, here I have this important check, I think, mm -hmm. and castle. Castle. And black is okay. Like the famous black book says. Is okay. And I think it's more than okay here, because yeah. this is coming, and this this it's pawn is extremely coming. strong. And black has problem um, the, the the king side with the bishop. You mean white has a problem? Yeah, oh, yeah, white. yeah. Sorry, white. And you will need you will need to kick the the queen back maybe, but. Yeah, I'm, we're not getting kicked so easily. Oh, uh, yeah, queen d1, sorry. Yeah, there's black, only black can be better, and I think she is better here, mm -hmm. so. Okay, so uh, this, although fancy, it's not really, so queen a5, I think, is a very important move here in, in many variations, so. Yeah. And what is the other move that we have here? I don't think it's white has much choice with this look. You know what she might be thinking about? D5, is, in, is it an idea? Again, I can only play it because it's not my pieces. <laughs> so, I, I, so you can try any I move. I can try any move and I don't really mind. No, but, but then this is a problem. Um, there is bishop e4 and I'm not even in time mm -hmm. to, to do anything. If I had one more move to, to capture on b7, then we could talk about some compensation with this bishop and, and the pawn on b7. But with bishop e4, I think game over because knight e5 doesn't work. And ah, nothing works. Here. Yeah. Okay, so d5 is not a move, and uh, Tan is, in, is tanking here. Pun intended. And so. Uh, rook d1, we said bishop c2. Maybe, maybe she's a bit, uh, she underestimated the, this bishop c2 idea. 
Ah, but maybe no. Let's uh, first let's take a look at, uh, at the uh, at the forced variation because rook d bishop d5 d1 is not really the only move. What happens here? So if I'm allow if if I can recapture, then white is okay at least. But what is this position? Ah, you want to castle. You always want to castle. Your oh, teachers, yeah, your chess teachers did a good job. <laughs> okay. No, but uh, I, I don't think white has uh, nearly enough here. That's my feeling. Uh, because we can always uh, oh, block and, 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 and to tell you the truth, I'm not sure which pawn is more dangerous here. So this is just, I don't believe in it in the very least. I have okay. a feeling that Tan missed this mm, bishop f5, this move, or she uh, less as, estimated this move. Yeah, okay, and, and she makes actually the only move we didn't think about, and it's Oops. the only mm -hmm. sensible move to not allow this bishop c2 and, and, and uh, b3. But then we ask the, the I think, the question is, was this really necessary? To, so basically, white lost two tempi, mm -hmm. allowed black to, to draw, drew the, the knight to c6, yeah. which is something black wanted to do in, in any way. And let black have a good position for the bishop, and yeah. it's supposed to be protecting the B7 pound? I think now it's... Uh, I think... If yeah. anyone can think of an uh, advantage here is, is, is not white. Mm -hmm. Let's put it this way. I think so. After bishop B1, I don't think D4 is a really good move for white. She, she has probably uh, missed some lines Looks here. like you're right. She, she probably missed this. Uh, maybe not bishop f5, but yeah. the idea of uh, bishop c2 and b3 afterwards yeah. Uh, yeah. probably was missed, yeah. This, is, this position can be better for, for black. All the pieces are positioned in better place than before. Agreed, but having said that, uh, I don't think white is really in any danger here because of the weakness. So l let's picture how can black really be better here? Uh. What needs to happen, unless, obviously, unless we let the pawn to get to b3 and then and, 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 and support it. Mm -hmm. But b4 looks a little bit weak slash doomed. It's, um, and then you, how do you really win it with just black? In my opinion, it's really hard to take b4 pound back. I would rather to exchange e5 uh, to give you the e5 pound back than remain the b4 yeah. pound to be a strong pound. Okay, th and that's a valid for point. For example, if I castle, I'll let you take my e5 pound and then I remain the b4. Okay, so you and say. With my uh, bishop of f5 to support this pawn, it can be a problem for. Okay, okay, white. this is a uh, this is a valid idea. Mm -hmm. I like it, actually. Okay, but what do we make here with black knight d4, or do we play some queen b6, b3? Um, what do we want to do I'm here? Thinking about Variation knight e5. Is that oh, you want to take right away? Yeah, take and then queen d2. Uh -huh. Does that make sense? It makes a lot of sense. Especially if I blunder on c1. Mm -hmm. um, White with a face of challenge. Yeah, and yeah, I think you're. My pound is really, really quick. runs quickly. 
-hmm. So for instance, so we have to go, mm -hmm. then you just uh, pam, pam, pam. Sorry, 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 <laughs> not so <laughs> fast. Sorry. Not so fast. I meant first, of course, so something like that, yeah. yes, to make sure you never stop me. Mm -hmm. But you know what? But then I will have a pawn of my own. Of my own. Let's say like that. Hmm. <laughs> it can can become very sharp all of a sudden. Mm. I wanted to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Who do you think is the favorite? Not in this game, but for the match at all, in yeah, general. In the match? Yeah. really hard to say because they have really uh, less games in the past few years because mm. they are teammates so mostly when they uh, meet in the same tournament for example Chinese League they never meet each other so ah. there are not much games between these two which is surprising right because they yeah. they're both uh, the stronger on top of the strongest players and, yeah, and still and not many games for example uh, Ju Wenjun and uh, Tan and Ju Wenjun and uh, Lei, they both make a lot of games in past five years. Mm -hmm. But there are not much games between these two players because they are teammates. So, yeah, I see. Um, for me, I think um, Lei is growing fast for the past three years, especially during the COVID-19, during this time. That's, what, that's the feeling I got from, her, from seeing her games, that, mm -hmm. uh, that she really gained a lot in, in the last couple of years, yeah. the two, three years, yeah, and then yeah. she's really peaking now. It, it feels like she, she's getting better and better. Yeah, and um, Tan is solid. She has been strong for many years, maybe for, for the uh, past 10 years, she she's steady and solid. Her game is like, um, she make rare mistakes, but as you know, she also meets some uh, difficult times. For example, on the pool B, you know, she yeah. make difficult times to win the opponent yes. to, to come here. So, um, for the instance that show, I think maybe Lei is slightly better than Tan because she maybe... She's played. in a better form maybe, yes. Yeah. But on the other hand, Tan, uh, we didn't say that. She's the current World Rapid Champion, mm -hmm, which yeah. gives her a big edge if... Maybe gives her a big edge if we enter the tie breaks, yeah, right? So, yeah. so she, she, she feels probably that she's... The favorite in the tie breaks, mm -hmm. although I'm not sure Lay is, uh, is not a good rapid player as well. So, but okay, uh, I think uh, I, I, I think agree they, with. If it. they make equal on the uh, on the six uh, six games, then maybe Tang got better. A little bit, yeah. She's better, she's got a slight edge. Slight, yeah. Uh, yeah, she's got a slight uh, edge, but. Uh, on the normal six games, I think Lei has slightly advantage. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, this is this is fair. Especially now that we think she's uh, in the first black game, she didn't really have up until now. Uh, everything can change in one move, of course, mm -hmm, but yeah. it doesn't look that she has a lot of trouble here. What happened to the board? What happened? Ah, it was a castle that went wrong. Oh. Yeah, maybe if you can alert the tech guys. So yeah, so, so the, she went for your line of sacrificing the e-pawn, the, the e and we are going into... Mm -hmm. And it might be really forced, actually, because if she takes on e5 now, mm -hmm. then it's quite forced. Ah, but maybe there is an intermit, so let's see. <laughs> I mean, actually, I'm a little bit even, well, not shy, but to 
suggest a move like rook d1 because I feel all we do in this game is move the rook with white. Rook b1, c1, d1. She make a lot of moves for this, for this rook. Yeah. Okay, so we can... Um, so, uh, ah, another option here is to perhaps play d5. d5, a move we don't really like because of the drawbacks that we said, right? Mm -hmm. Because it blocks the bishop and it puts the pawns on the wrong squares. I think if white play d5, then black can handle with knight b8 and transport this knight to a6 yes, to protect is, b4, to make it. sure this pawn is alive. This is, this is good, yeah, the knight doesn't go there, it, it will go to a6 okay. and protect. Yeah, and then with the uh, white bishop locked, black has better chance with one pawn up. And important, I think, to note here is that here we always can capture on yeah. c2 and, and, and then this pawn on b4 yeah. will be alive forever. Yeah. And, and the bishop is suddenly stupid. From the best piece on the board, it's suddenly <laughs> yeah. the stupidest board, piece on the board. So, so d5. And oh, she made no, no. this move. She did play d5. She did uh -huh. play. Wow. Okay, then she must have seen something we haven't and let's examine it mm -hmm. in deeper but you know i feel well knight b8 i think C5? should be almost automatic unless yeah unless there is some some very concrete way that goes C5. or i have options to play knight a5 knight a5 is a move as well yes mm. but it's mis it's a little bit misplaced there maybe um, then I will play b6 to protect. And again, you want to, to get the same. Yeah, I want to my, my b4 pawn to be protected. And with all those positional concerns, you also have this tiny trick. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not even a trick. Okay, so let, let's examine this most, uh, the, the most forcing move first, and then we'll, we can go and come back to knight b8, right? Mm -hmm. And Lay is exactly, is also taking her time to think. Wait, is this, is Dan, does Dan have only 16 minutes left? Yeah, I think so, and Lay still has 45, 45 minutes. minutes. Uh -huh. Okay, so she not only... Uh, she, she obviously, yeah, she, she lost a little bit track. Mm -hmm. She has 15 minutes for 40, for 20 more moves. So it's, it, yeah. it's not a time trouble, but it's, it's becoming a little bit annoying. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, and for and this might even affect how Lei is approaching this position because she might want to keep more tension on the on the board. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So knight a five. White would have to play either queen a four or queen b two. <coughs> Suddenly, it can become very unpleasant. Mm -hmm. So. It's not easy for white to take this pawn back. Okay, but how can... Well, we have also... Maybe if, if we already blocked the bishop, then we don't mind even, you know, blocking it more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to and block yours as well. <laughs> <laughs> as there was in this uh, Seinfeld show, if you have ever seen it, in one of the episodes, uh, Jerry, uh, George says to uh -huh. Jerry, uh -huh. so if the clothes are dry, you cannot over dry them. Once they're dry, they're dry. So <laughs> if the bishop is blocked, it's blocked. You cannot yeah. over block it. And so, well, the, the, the problem with this, the only problem I think black has is this knight on a5 is a little bit awkward looking. 
but it and has if I manage, but uh, let's let's do some managed. concrete stuff, right? Uh, so okay, so uh, we need to support the pawn. Mm -hmm. Let's say some queen b6. Is, is this a move, or do we want to open the file? Maybe with b5. I think b5 is a good idea because c1, the, the rook on c1 is ready, but your rook is still at home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You convinced me. Let's say you convinced <laughs> me. I'm not convinced, but let's say you convinced me. And am, am, am I playing? What I want to do is basically close this bishop and, and then play rook b1. Mm -hmm. So, and, and I'm claiming that I will be able to win the pawn back. Bishop d7. Bishop d7. Rook b1. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, why not? We made five moves with this rook. Let's make another one. Um, but to mind, it, there can be something also wrong with your c4 power. It will be. It obviously will be. And I, I think black is really positionally much better here. And we still are not even threatening to win back the pawn. So black has a ton of time. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Well, maybe not ouch, ouch, but... Yeah. Um, I don't think this is what white is dreaming of. Mm -hmm. So what does she have in mind? C5, maybe. C5, oh, knight, B3. Oh, oh, oh. And then I will choose oh. to win an exchange or a pawn or... It will be a tough choice, actually. Maybe queen a4. Then queen a4, c5. but that, but okay, but how do you now? Oh, I, uh, I have this oh nasty threat, yeah. That's so unpleasant. Unless queen b4. you, yeah, maybe you have some tricks. But to tell you the truth, the truth, I don't think you have many tricks here. Ah, knight e1 maybe it's nice, unpleasant a little bit, mm -hmm. yeah? Knight e1. Although... Yeah, I was thinking about knight c4, and if queen c4, then b2. Actually, we should have done it immediately. We should have done it here, no? Ah, oh, we can't do it, because here rook takes c4. Okay, we need a strong move here. And every time we needed a strong move, queen a8 was the move, right? <laughs> this, <laughs> this time not queen a8. It's not, it doesn't work, you see? It doesn't work in every <laughs> position. Okay. So. Queen c7? Yes, I was thinking about it too. Now you, you know what? C5? C5? Ah, look at this. Take b2. Ma, b2, knight d2, and knight b3. b3. Is it enough? Wow. It's, it's not enough, nice. probably. Yeah? It's not enough. It's not enough. Now take, take. take. White is winning. Mm -hmm. OK, so this is how white wins. <laughs> um, By Black's brother. Yeah, well. Let's not concentrate on that. But about, what about this one? If I can take c5 root, then I suggest not to take c5 path. No, but, uh, but what happens here? I, I'm threatening b2. Uh -huh. I'm threatening maybe b6, although it's not a big threat. And I'm a pawn up. And you cannot take, obviously, with the rook because uh, the queen is hanging. And uh, knight, if you take knight. here, uh, then b6, I right? Play knight d2 <coughs> on position. You play here, knight d2. Yeah. Are you sure? <coughs> uh, I'm, no, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> if you ask me, I'm not sure. Okay. Just wanted to make sure you're not sure. <laughs> uh, 
pot. Okay, so we play that. Rook b5, yes. I'm not blundering the queen for now. What is this? Have you noticed that white is defense? Yes, and well, th that, that's what's happening when you play 15 moves in a row with the rook. You know? <laughs> it's just like, it's, no, it was an unfortunate, I think it was an unfortunate blunder and, and, and now she, she has to defend. Mm -hmm. But um, it's, it's really unpleasant. For instance, rook c8, you cannot take the pawn because you get mated. Well, this is a known pattern. And okay, so I realized that Lay still thinking about knight e eight or knight a five. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think she 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 wants to really take her time because it's it's a very critical yeah, position yeah, here. Yeah, it's crucial here. And uh, if you really, f I think at this point you feel that you took the initiative and you don't want to spoil it with one hasty mm -hmm. move and uh, and this is the time this is the time to think because there's a lot of things you feel that this knight b8 is maybe the correct move strategically right but tactically you feel that you are giving up you're giving your opponent some time to regroup and and and, and use this this time wisely for Maybe, instance i think knight b8 will meet c5 oh and c5 you allow c5 mm -hmm. when you play knight a5 a c5 is not allowed instantly but if you play knight b8 i will play c5 okay let's let's consider c5 let's yeah, let's take a deeper look at knight b8 because we have to, that's what she's doing right now, okay? She calculates how the thought process goes. So you start calculating some variation, yeah? So at this point, I think it's, it's, it's interesting. So at this point, you understand in pretty much immediately, right? That you have those two, two moves, points. right? Mm -hmm. So you start most often you start with the most forcing line, yeah? Mm -hmm. So you start calculating some lines with knight a5, mm -hmm. just like we showed you. And then at some point you, you need to say, okay, here I stop mm -hmm. and let's, let's take a look at the other idea because uh, maybe then I will see in one, two moves and it's, it's obviously the better choice mm -hmm. because here we did not come to a very conclusive idea. We, we believe there is something interesting, right? But maybe we can revisit it later on. But first, let's see, OK, what is our other option? Maybe, maybe it's not an option even. For instance, if you immediately you see that uh, after like a few minutes of calculation, that C5 and white is like much better or something, then you can even maybe, and you see that after knight A5, uh, the position is, is good for black, maybe it's tricky, then you can say, OK, I go for knight A5, no time to waste my time, I will think on my opponent's time, right? And I go, I, I make the practical choice of, of making the faster move. So, uh, so it's time she goes to calculate this knight b8. Mm -hmm. And uh, on, on my first thought, I would think that queen a7 is a move because I want to prevent queen b6 or c5, right? And what happens if I do queen a7? Um, well, as you said, knight, knight a6, a6, yes. But but then okay. But then I want to to grab this uh, bishop, this pawn on queen a5, and then I'll queen play five. rook a8. Ah, and suddenly look this. This is the problem, yeah. When I take the b7 pawn, mm -hmm. it's really not clear who it benefits, right? Yeah. It's, it's maybe even better for black that this pawn is absent because then the rook on, b, on, on the b file is supporting very well. Okay, so queen a7 is out of the question. And uh, c5, as you said, is, is the main move. Um, <laughs> And now if you play knight a6, then 
maybe I will have C6. Aha, you want to play it like that. Mm -hmm. But, okay, but what, are you really so happy here? Yeah. Or, oh, so, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I didn't play, no, no, I didn't touch. <laughs> Not touch. No, nobody see that. Nobody see. Okay, so obviously this let's show. If you blundered, then uh, <laughs> the knight is hanging. Mm -hmm. But black has knight c5 and or maybe even queen, queen b6, b6 or something, yeah? yeah? Which is better, it's unclear. Uh, queen b6 looks more natural. You know, there is a, a, a very old story from uh, Soviet Union mm -hmm. when uh, during the World Championship match, I think between uh, Potvinik and, uh, and Bronstein. Mm -hmm. So there was some game and White had the pawn up, or one of the sides had, uh, had an extra pawn, mm -hmm. and the reporter that didn't play chess so he asked some, uh, some chess master what he thinks about the position. And the, the, the master explains that, okay, white has an extra pawn, and, uh, and he started explaining, but black has some compensation. Mm -hmm. So the reporter goes and he reports like this. So according to master Natsikonyan, white has an extra pawn. Mm -hmm. So according to me, I think black has a pawn up here. So, <laughs> and, uh, it's just, you know, I just a pawn up, a very strong pawn up, mm -hmm. right? So, so this is definitely not something she would worry about. Mm -hmm. And can white uh, really win back the pawn? Really difficult. It looks like white is in trouble, huh? I even can't see the plan to organize pieces to attack this b4 pawn. You can't move the root to b1 and your bishop is helpless and the knight. If you want to attack my pawn, then I will take you with my bishop. Maybe on d2, c2 or d3. So yes. The only thing can attack my b4 pawn, that's your queen. So, quite difficult to have this pawn back. Okay, but if we don't want to resign immediately, and we don't want to, no. so what do we do? So we, we will need, okay, le let's say uh, we need to attack the pawn, so we play knight one and the idea is twofold. So first we want to block this bishop, mm -hmm. and then we want to bring the knight and the rook will be able to go to b1, mm -hmm. and the queen to whatever we are able to put it where. So, knight e1 is a move. It's not really horrible, horrible for white, but again, even when we win the pawn, that, that's the main problem with white's position. So yeah. when you get what you want and you probably will be able to, let's just make a few moves, okay? So let's say knight a6, uh, you play e4, we go back somewhere, d7, and you start attacking and we'll... b3? Let's say there is no tactic, oh, okay? Let's okay. say you get Get whatever you back. want, you, you get the pawn back. Okay, so, well, maybe it is actually important because, and now oh. I'm blundering pieces like, uh, like they are not mine. <laughs> uh, bishop uh. f1 to protect c4. Yeah, you see, even, even it's, it's not even easy to just make random moves and, and lose this pawn for mm -hmm. black. So, but I, I wanted to show, okay, what happens even, let's say, okay, black just does nothing, okay? Mm -hmm. 
and you That's win back the pawn. Even we exchange everything. So this is clearly, I mean, white is not playing for a win here. Mm -hmm. Maybe black is not either, but, but I can picture black somehow regrouping and, and, and pushing. Like, for instance, if I'm able to bring the, like you said in one of the previous variations, if I'm able to put the king on c7, the bishop, the pawn on b6, and then the bishop goes here and this starts to be annoying and, and black has no weaknesses, basically, because b7 or b6, if with the king on c7, the, the b6 pawn will not be a weakness anymore. So, so even... We, uh, if black gives white all that white hopes for, it will be probably drawish position with maybe some chances for black. Mm -hmm. um, but there is still a very long way to go here because, again, as, as we said, first of all, there is this b3 mm -hmm. move. And you say, okay, so I can protect the pawn on b3 even maybe easier light uh, than on b4 and then again after knight c5 let's see we renew this threat you remember which threat yes of queen <laughs> a8 of the super queen move a8. yeah, so, yeah. And, and again and, and then if we manage to play b5 then suddenly again we are an extra strong passer so it, it's almost lost for white so it's not entirely clear although I, I think we can find a way for white to ah of course white has to go to d3 to prevent the knight nice. black knight from going to c5 and well not allow oh and she did just that okay so it feels like this is the good this is the better way yeah, yeah. after and and that's exactly the process so uh, for if you followed us, so we, we started, it's probably she has with knight a5, she, and then she stopped at some point and, and she saw that, okay, after knight b8, we are probably getting a more uh, promising pos position. Because if you play knight b8, you have a chance to uh, put your knight on c5. If you put your knight on a5, then you lose this chance to put this knight to c5. I, th I, I think c5 squares better is for this black knight. The knight a4, yes. That's the main idea for knight uh, b8. This is, the, this is the most natural move. That's, uh, that's what we said, right? Mm -hmm. the, the natural move is yeah. to, to put the knight, to, to get the knight to a6, c5. Yeah. But we had to calculate knight a5 because it's a more, a more forcing yeah. one. And for, for the first time when I saw this uh, position, my First thing is knight b That's what yeah. you said, yes. Okay, and I think c5 is on the board. Oh, c5. And already d takes c5. Okay, d takes c5 is something we have not even considered, which is interesting. It says more, it says a lot about us. But honestly, I think knight a6. It make this position more clear. Okay, let's let's see. But I, I feel that it gives white a little bit more options. Maybe I'm wrong. So first of all, what are our options? So queen e5 with the tempo is an option. Knight e5 is less of an option, I think, because then we'll have two connected past pawns. Mm -hmm. We don't want to do that. And rook takes c5. Oh, is, I also is an don't option. think. Queen e5 is a choice because if I play queen c8, I protect both c5 ah, and Ah, beautiful, f5. beautiful. Yeah, so then I will have a really strong pawn structure. Okay, I love so, this move, yes. Um, if you don't want Yeah, to and, and then there are no, really no tactics, right? Knight mm -hmm. before you go back simply, and you, you're just in time to cover everything. And again, you say, okay, black is a pawn up, and then what oh, a pawn? Yeah? And the point is, even if if I take my bishop back, you can't 
take C5 because I have knight D7. Uh -huh. Okay, so this, point. great. Okay, so this rules out queen takes E5, basically. Mm -hmm. Let's show it, uh, yeah, let's show this variation. So even, we can even, without the, uh, although I think queen C8 is very strong, mm -hmm. but we can even just go back with the bishop. Yeah. And I think it's, we want to stay on this diagonal, right, to support the people. Mm -hmm. and, and you can play E4 because with root E8, your pawn is... Right, and, and, after rook, and after E4, if we want to block, then rook mm -hmm. E8 and we take on e4, so this is game over, basically. So that leaves us with rook c5, and now black really has a choice, which makes sense. So now black can either play knight a6 and transpose mm -hmm. to some version of what we were looking at, or maybe start, do we want to put the queen behind the pawn and push it maybe? Is this is this even an option? Mm, like that? You can have a try. So queen a fives is I think out of the out of the question here because black is very fast to create uh, unpleasant threats. Mm -hmm. So rook c eight threatening rook c one. And then c2, uh, b3, bishop c2, and we've been there, we've seen that. It's not very nice for white, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's too general to say that, but it looks, uh, it looks that white really has to make, if, if white holds, uh, like it's, it's by very precise only moves. And oh, um, Tan has to make, make she wow. So she took with Wow, we did not even consider that. Wow, this is a very risky, I think. This is very risky. So maybe we missed some Maybe we missed some calculation. That, did. that would be my always always my first choice. That I missed something. <laughs> and uh, okay, so probably protect C5 pound. Queen, C. queen, okay, so C. queen d6, we have knight c4, queen, queen b6 C. as well, yeah, but queen c7, queen c7, I don't like too much this opposition with the queen, with the rook. Mm -hmm. What if we take the knight to a6? Is this a move? Mm. Is there any possible to play d6? Yeah, you want to take on b7, yes? Mm, yeah. Take b7. Okay. But okay, but here look, we are again, as I said, we are a pawn up. Mm -hmm. Knight. And, uh, and these are very strong pawns, right? Mm -hmm. Especially they are, they are now placed on the on the squares opposite to the bishop, so the bishop can support their movement. Mm -hmm. It would be a different story if if they were if we had the black squared bishop, for instance. Mm -hmm. um, but with the white squared bishop and and the, the pawns on on dark squares, we have a lot of support for them. And mm -hmm. uh, I think this is, this should be very difficult for white to uh, to hold. On the other hand, uh, yeah, but what, what to do? Maybe she wants to somehow oh, e4. block. Yeah, okay. So now it makes much more sense and maybe move the bishop somewhere here mm -hmm. and pretend that, okay, so this is the extra pawn, but it doesn't do much. Although it's, it might be very important to later on to break through the uh, any kind of support that you you built here. Mm -hmm. and, so. and, and there is uh, some advantage on the center for white, especially True. e four d five pound. Yes, but but again, but but on uh, this is on one hand, and and this is what gives white I think some hopes here. Some some I think we can. Say it's clear that black is playing for a win uh, here, 
Um, and uh, okay, so what was the, what's the game position? With nine e five. Right, ninety five played or not? Played. Played, yes. Yes. Because I don't see it on this board. Okay. It looks like ninety five played. Yes. Um. Okay, we'll have to make some. And the time control is. Uh, it's fourteen minutes for Tan and twenty one minutes for Lee. Uh, more close. Yeah. Okay. So. There are many options here. Or B6 to protect. B6 is a move. And it might be a move I like. Well, I'm not, I'm not sure I'm liking it because we need, we need to find good placement for our, our pieces. So Knight A6, it does the the job of protecting the pawn, but then it's very difficult. Mm. And there's another idea with queen f6 to pin this time time ago. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, this, it's actually very important to know that probably without the queens on the board, it will be much more difficult for white mm -hmm. to protect, to, to keep this, to hold this position because Queen, the queen is doing uh, is 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 actually the only piece that can cover the dark diagonals, yeah, right. and uh, and this is where and if without this protection, the pawn can run without obstacles uh, forward. So, it's it's important. It's an important nuance here. Mm -hmm. and uh, queen F6, but what happens? Eight, I cannot take ninety seven. Uh -huh. I was going to play that and this, mm -hmm. but now I'm blundering a queen. <laughs> <laughs> so it's probably not so good. Okay. Yeah, so this is uh, rook c Wow, so queen of six is actually a very interesting move. Mm -hmm. And now. Then maybe I will uh, move my rook to c8. But okay, fair. Uh, promise? Move. You promise to move it to C8. Uh, no, not this time. <laughs> if you don't play E4, then I'll consider. Okay. Um, but now rook E8, maybe, yeah? Um, maybe. There's not really good position for bishop. And we... Although, uh, wait. What's going on here? If we go here, or do we play a four? A four, I feel it's too weakening, and then it's, and the e4 pawn will be weakened, and then the and then the, the the king will be weakened. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Yeah, we go back, and uh, you cannot move the knight. Uh, but maybe you can now take. And I still play. Yeah, but this is different. I don't lose a knight anymore, so I can. Now oh, this, this maybe is, is good this for white. Is this is different. It's um, very different. You have mm. my pawn back, but your king side is true. Is, but you know what I have? I have this move, uh -huh. which you will not like. Oh, I didn't see that. I yeah. This ah, got you one oh. time. I got oh, you one move. time. Yes. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Not so easy. Queen you have this four. check, oh, but uh, okay, I have the intermediate check on the, on C8. So and I see this. Queen D7. Oh no, 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 sorry. Queen D7. Wow. Oh, sorry, sorry. That's a big blunder. But it's it's a blunder, but it's a beautiful blunder. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, a big blunder. Yeah. So we have this, <laughs> we have this lady covering D8. It's not my game, you know. You're, not your game, not your pieces. <laughs> most, most importantly. Yeah. 
but yeah, but this is this is winning, I think. So we just move somewhere, even here, although it's very scary. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, because on this taking here, oh, there is this check. Oh, I will take e4 pawn first. Really? Yeah. Bishop e4. Uh -huh. Ah, and you claim that I cannot move. Yeah, you can't move your I cannot my, untie myself. But okay, what if I go back? Um, then maybe I'm going to miss I. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> oh, I no, like. no, that, that's, no, that's not, that's May, not the end. Actually, maybe Bishop you're D2, winning. Yeah. You're winning, maybe. <laughs> Queen d2. Queen d2. And so all of a sudden, again. Oh, queen d2 even. Ah, yeah. queen d2. So you, your, you have so many ways to win here when you're playing against me, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, but... Uh, How can we... So, if some crazy line, uh, not forced, well, the way we oh, like it. After queen... After so, we, 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 we checked this and knight d7 and you said, but, <coughs> okay, but if, if we go with something like normal chess, if there is such thing. What do you think if I place my bishop on g6? I think there's would something Would it make... It. Yeah, you would have yeah. this loft. Uh, but, okay, let, let's, let's think about in general. So, maybe... Wait, we are way ahead of ourselves. So, queen f6 is a nice move. Oh, they have equal time. No, okay. Both for 15 minutes. Yeah, so I think Tan found a way to complicate matters here. Mm -hmm. That's what she always do in some uh, like slightly bad positions. She make the position complicated mm -hmm. and make uh, her opponent confused. This is actually, it's a very good strategy because mm -hmm. when you have this advantage, you're planning, you want, what you want to do is like this slow game when you realize your advantage and then suddenly the game changes and you, f you suddenly have to make some precise moves. Oh, and look, Lei, actually she made a very interesting move. What? So F6. she played F6, we, which is not a move I would we didn't consider, even think about it. but it does make sense in the way that it forces white to choose where to place the, 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 the knight. And once it's placed on c4 like she did in the game, mm -hmm. now she has this very uh, nice and uh, natural move, uh, development move for, for the knight on d7. This is, this is the game, current game position. She leaves the and choice to back to white. Yes, and, and, and that allow and, and now this b5 pawn with the extra pawn, remember, mm -hmm. is becoming Useful. very strong. Yeah, because now we start pushing the pieces back. But what's going on on knight d6? This is the. If. Is it? Oh, it's not a blunder. Okay, so she, she wants to. She says that you cannot capture, oh, but why can't I'm you capture? Sure. Because we catch your knight, D6. you can still protect it with d6, but the knight is still not going anywhere, and Can this I might be a problem. Us. So we have either b3 or even uh, a dull move like rook b8, mm -hmm. yeah, just simple chess. Oh, I don't know if it's simple, but... Oh, they've made their choice. Knight c4 and knight d7, just yeah. as you said. Yeah, that's, that's what... They are probably, like, hearing your voice. <laughs> I hope for them not. <laughs> um, no, but I said it because I, I've seen the, they played it, so this time I heard their voices. Oh. <laughs> and... Okay, so is knight d6 an option? And more importantly, if it's not an option, what do, I do? What do we do? 
What one thing that I don't really like about F6 is that it weakens the light squares a little bit. Mm -hmm. And the king. Although I, I can't see how to how to make use of it. So we agree that knight d6 is, is a bit problematic, right? Mm -hmm. If we want to capture d6, then we have either b3. Let's look at the most forcing line. Okay, so b3, and <coughs> we're threatening b, b2. And queen b2. So if the queen has to go to b2, I think this is the end of all white hopes. Bishop. bishop we can go bishop c7 we can even go bishop c2 That's a yeah bishop and we're not even blundering anything mm -hmm. because rook takes c2 we oh first of all the the queen is protected and we get a new queen this is a lot of stuff going on there so queen b2 we can protect or we can even wait, right? So white is white wants to check. I think black has many. There are so many ways to yeah. win here with black. Then maybe we we don't have to even waste time on this. Mm -hmm. Because even white is not even threatening anything. Because after bishop d5, we'll have <laughs> bishop f7, and, and looks like totally game over. So. She cannot really take on take back the pawn. Mm -hmm. What does she do? And and then we have to ask ourselves, okay, what does black want to do? So obviously b5, c4 looks mm -hmm. threatening. Yeah, b5, c4, b3. Yeah. And just run over. You know, just it feels like this out. mass. Just and push the pawn. It's not, it, it's, it looks like only one um, well, it doesn't look like it, it's only one pawn for for black, mm -hmm. but what makes the big difference is that black has three past pawns. Mm -hmm. Well, two really two connected past pawns and one that supports, supports them, mm -hmm. and white only has one past pawn because these two pawns, the second one cannot really run because of the F4. if you play E4, if you want to support, then you are, your bishop's going to be thick. Yes, you, you commit yourself a little bit. And, and again, this, you're blocked here a little yeah. bit. So this, blocked. And this give, give, gives me another, another target for, for my play. Pan has nine minutes, yeah, okay. And so. there's still 20 moves left. That's and she's, lot. yeah, and she, and, and she really needs the time now because it's, it's a very unpleasant position yeah. for her. And I think she takes the time to calculate 96 now. Um, but uh, I think it's very scary to go into this, especially when you have no time. It's very easy to, to miss uh, pawns running over you. It's a big pressure for, for white. And, and if you start thinking at this point, oh my God, what have I done with my white pieces in this game? <laughs> so uh, it, it really sits somewhere there that you think, oh, this would be one. And, and, and then it feels like she completely lost track of the game. Yeah, so. I and I love. Knight e3. B5, so I okay, so move it away. Good, I agree. And then, okay, let's say I go back. Maybe I will act, act, activate my bishop. Ah, maybe like that. Yeah. Yes, okay. Oh, she, she hurt me. <laughs> she hurt you. Okay, maybe it will work for her much better than when she hurt me. So, and, uh -huh. and uh, now we want to win back the pawn, so we create some concrete threats. <coughs> and what happens after, this, let's say, b6? Bishop g6. Okay, maybe it's not that bad, everything. Uh, ah, we have this queen a7, perhaps, right? 
Is this a move? Um, or am I blundering B3 again? B3 with knight D1? Uh, if you play knight D1, I'm happy. I don't know why I'm happy, but I think I'm happy. I think you cannot afford to be so passive here. Mm -hmm. Bishop? Oh, no. That's terrible. Does it look good at all? No. And I want to maybe this and knight c4 and b2. Mm -hmm. Or maybe something that doesn't blunder. Um, All right, but okay, so b6, what can white do here? Maybe white can try to block. Very tricky. And what is the current position? Aha, uh -huh. Lay is thinking after oh, uh, she played bishop, bishop g6. Bishop g6. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, it makes, makes sense. sense. Makes a lot More of sense. More than bishop h7, because you have an extra choice for bishop f7. Yes. Ah, and Tan, okay, oh, she d6. goes in a totally different direction. She goes d6, which, which actually, I think, I think it's, it makes much more sense than what I suggested. Because, okay, she opens the bishop, mm -hmm. and, and she gives, and now the knight can jump also to d5, e7 sometimes. And she, she says, okay, now I want, I have some trump of my own. Yeah, so d, d6 pawn, it can, it's my only pass pawn, so I should push it. But what if uh, black play queen b6? It looks natural, right, to attack. And uh, basically, so we attack the pawn and we want to push. I but now, no chance to play knight d5. If you play knight d5, five, you are yeah. just in time to protect e7, right? Yeah. Let's yeah. show it. So there is no attack. <coughs> if you play knight c4, then you, you're never going to play knight d5. So I yes, just and then we'll just agree on a draw after this. Yes, uh, like, I don't like think it. so. I'll <laughs> play queen b5. Yeah, queen b5. And, mm -hmm. uh, I, well... I should have tried, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe you want to draw. <laughs> Maybe I will make two, uh, make one move back and, and up. Just and turn to toy with me, yes. yes. Yeah, okay, so knight c4 is probably not a move we want to make. But you know what? Maybe... Maybe now? Although I'm not sure we want to play bishop h3 anymore. Ah, you know what? We have maybe this move. Oh, queen a4. This good. Some triangling, I don't know. So the, the idea is, I'm, I'm not sure it works, but the, the idea is to win the... the but I, I... Now I have a check. And then you win my queen. And I don't win your queen, but I win a piece, a piece. which is almost as good. And then right? you and face I, my... I, my I piece. take... Yeah, but I think I'm in time to do... to, to stop them, because... Yeah, mm -hmm. this is winning for white. Because... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, okay. So, queen a4, is this a, a move then? Knight. Oh, no. No knight. So we can play the old-fashioned yeah. way, protect when we're attacked. You know, Tan has some gift in such kind of complicated positions. Well, this is the, uh, no. this is the way to, sa to save them, because if, if she allowed... Uh, of course, I mean, the, this way she can lose much quicker. But uh, they don't give you extra points, for, extra points for winning fast or losing fast. So, uh, and but this way, if uh, if Lay goes wrong, and and 
now it really works well for Tan, I think, that they're both in time trouble. Mm -hmm. Because you really want to make sure that you... And I realize if you play that way, queen b6, queen a4, rook d8, then mm -hmm. I have knight c4. Yes, yes, yes. And, and then now, all of a sudden, but uh, I have queen a6. I want to trade queens. I, I want to trade queens very much, especially if I, if I can get the third pawn for a passer. Mm -hmm. Queen B. Queen B3. Queen B3. And it looks like you idea. kind of, yeah, yeah, but I'm breaking through. <clears throat> Here I'm breaking through. Uh, okay, so, but maybe you can keep, keep the pressure going like, like that. Um, knight, knight e5. 95 and now I even maybe push one more. Eh, why not? What do I have to lose? B B3, three. yes. Well, I have to lose this game probably. That's what I have to lose. <laughs> Oh, what? what did King you play? H7. Oh, this is a brilliant move. If it works, it's a brilliant move. Make it's sure a very computer-like move. She makes sure the king is... Protected. You don't, yeah, especially in, in, in time trouble, mm -hmm. you don't want any surprises along this diagonal, any intermediate checks that you missed, or even, uh, you know, those knight go here checks and stuff. And, and the immediate justification, I think, is that now if you take on b7, then I have this double attack, mm -hmm. and you don't have this check to bail you out, so. Mm -hmm. <coughs> In time travel, it, this move is... This is very, very, very practical, very mature. And I don't know, maybe computer will say that it's, it's, it's a blunder, and you, have a, you had a forced win here or something, but... But for, for, from human perspective, it looks like a very, very sound decision. And very importantly, I think it, it came as a total surprise to Tan as well, because she was, when in time trouble, you tend to calculate forced lines. Mm -hmm. This is not a move you calculate. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. it's, it's, it's not in, among your choices of calculation. But this move changes a lot in many variations. So you don't have those, uh, intermediate checks and stuff, so mm -hmm. it's very interesting. So now Tan has to recalculate all the yes. all the calculations. And and Lei did not commit to anything yet, so she can she can she still even has this super mm -hmm. move that we have. Uh, so and actually without uh, without the queens and without the sex this check it might be a, an unpleasant move for white to face um, but white has queen a4 now white has queen a4 now mm -hmm. what happens on knight b6 is uh, this a move queen b5 and you take on c5 yes and i will take on c5 yes okay so this is Probably not the best choice I've made. Um, it may stop the black pieces because you can't move your. Yeah, your but knife. maybe I want to do this. Mm -hmm. You know, and then I <coughs> slowly. I, I can take my position as slowly as I want. I can take now. This can become a weakness, mm -hmm. right? So I can take an knight to e5 and an attack on d6. For and long term playing, this uh, can be much better for black if you play just so solid. Yes. And I think Tan played oh, 95. 95. Yes. Okay. So she committed the knight here. And on the one hand, on the other hand, she prevents queen b6 and she mm -hmm. takes some, uh, some squares. 
I really like this move. I'm not sure it works, but I like the idea. Me too. Queen A8 again. Again, it's the... It will be a shame if this move never sees light <laughs> in this game. After all this build-up that we did for it. Yeah, we've calculated this <laughs> one for over, I think, three or four times. In our and it was always good. Yeah, Almost always. always. Most of the time. Yes. No, but uh, this time I, I think it actually might be very unpleasant. Because, okay, for, for instance, let, let's see if... Ah, uh, you mean bishop h3 or something? Yeah, no, b bishop h3 is, 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 is a problem because I even have uh, this. Uh -huh. This is the problem without the queens. Mm -hmm. And it, I think it goes the same even if you play bishop h3 immediately I can take and b3, and b3. nothing has changed <coughs> um, now if you escape if you go with your queen where do you go you go to, you can only go to b2, b2. wait ah it's here so if you go to b2, then queen a3 is very unpleasant, I think. Although the, the pawn on b4, uh, the b pawn is much stronger than the pawn on a3, obviously, mm -hmm. well, because it's not supported. But now I have three passers, and if I'm able to hold on to them, which I'm not sure I am, right? So you, you, now you need to really play very, very concrete and fast, because... Well, I think the threat is a2 and bishop b1, mm -hmm. right? You have to play a1. Or Looks I like you have to, yes. And now uh, I play oh, this. They played queen a. Yes! Finally! <laughs> okay. This move finally comes out, shows up in this board. <clears throat> So they probably have a delay in transmission from our voices, right? Oh, yeah. So mm -hmm. I think so. <laughs> now she heard us from the beginning of the translation. Okay. Uh, now let's take it seriously. Mm -hmm. white this is not a move I would love to see as, as white. But, uh, okay. You probably can take the queen out of the board. Queen b2, right? Yeah, it's going to be a quick lose. But what, going, what is going on? Is this... A, well, if black is able to do all that, then it's win he's, she's winning. But uh, maybe maybe white yet. has enough, enough compensation, but enough you, concrete play. Yeah? If or? you play rook a8, I have knight... Uh, there are a few moves, yeah? Knight c7, yes. knight f4... Yeah, somewhere. Uh, or maybe knight c7, 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 yeah? Yeah, if you play rook a8, then knight b5. If rook a7, then knight b5? Mm -hmm. Unpleasant for black. Are you sure it's so unpleasant? Yeah, knight a3. I have another one coming. Mm, ah, but then knight. bishop c6 you have even, yeah? Okay, queen b2 on the board, they will be very uh, much faster now. Mm -hmm. So we have, okay, so this is very exciting now. So we have 16 moves, uh, 17 moves for lay and 16 move, moves for ton mm -hmm. to make in uh, less than seven minutes each, I think. Yeah, each has six minutes. Six the minutes. Time is almost equal. And... Okay, so do we play queen a3? Queen a3, it, uh, I think, is a very committal move, which you are not... Uh, if I mean, you need to calculate well before you commit to this. On the other hand, it's, it's, it looks such a natural move to make, I think, because mm -hmm. if you, you understand that you want to trade the queens, mm -hmm. the drawback, as we said, is you don't want your pawn on a... On the A file, you, you much rather have it on, on the B file, supported by the bishop. What else can we do? Because, okay, so we, so far we don't really like this, this variation, right? So because here we think, what do we think here? 
So knight c7. Actually, knight c7, I have rook a5. Um, then I would take b7. Oh, you just take b7, and this is just plain stupid for me, yes. <coughs> okay, and if I play it here, then you recapture the pawn. And if b5, you have maybe this move, yes? Yeah. And you say, okay, no more pawn, no more extra pawn, and suddenly what changed? Okay, so maybe, uh huh, so maybe tactically it's holding. And what if not queen a3? To make the moves slower, just like you, you're said. Mm. Maybe queen a6? Yeah, the position is better for black, so don't be rush. Put the rook on a8, then exchange. And then exchange the queens. Yeah. Fantastic. Maybe okay, it's I agree. To, to move your rook out. Okay, so queen a6 is a move, right? Or queen, or queen a4. I wanted I wanted to make it with the uh -huh. tempo. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, because if not, then White could maybe even play Rook A one herself. So mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. That makes sense. Uh, with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> good that I didn't have to provide variations. <laughs> it's very good for me. Uh, what happens? Okay. I can, can we see protect the pawn? The screen that lays a bit nervous. Yes. She's uh, slightly shaking, shaking her body. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. So it, it shows she she's a bit nervous now. Under the she, time control. Understandably. Mm -hmm. Because now I th I think she feels that now is the is a very important move. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't have enough time to to, to find it. Yeah. She has two choice to, to to exchange the queen instantly or to make the move. Yeah, because she she understands that queen a three can be winning by force, mm -hmm. but it can also be missing the win by force. Yeah. So it depends on the calculation. It's very tricky, and, and but I think for to, what will save her I, I here the doesn't it looks very forced and, and not so good for black mm -hmm. i think so because uh the the three pawns are too apart yeah so it's difficult to protect all of them if you give one pawn back then the advantage is not so so clear exactly exactly oh, and again play queen a6 okay probably queen hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> if she doesn't win she we know who she can blame there. <laughs> uh, okay, so, but, but this, uh, this is a very natural move. Uh, well, uh, you, you attack the deep pawn, right? Yeah, yeah. And, um, and, and white is going to lose deep pawn. Yes. You can't protect it anyways. And I just picked at the engine, admit, mm -hmm. I cheated. <laughs> and not surprisingly, the agent says it's a dead draw, right? Yeah, but it's a complicated draw. It, yeah, bad. well, maybe for the engine it's a draw, no, but for a human, I think it's very not trivial how you even make a draw here, because again, you have two passers, Two and now exchange. two extra pawns? What, what is going on here? So she wants to exchange the, the bishop. And okay, she wants to exchange check. the bishop. And this is what's uh, what's happening, right? Lay talk. Two on d6. And probably knight g6. Knight g6, but l let us think what is going on here. Currently, black is two pawns up, and the engine says zero zero, which is very interesting to me. So, knight takes g6, king takes g6. 
and one oh. pawn will be lost, but maybe there is another thing going on here, right? And, and black has some problem on the, the light square because with the yes. bishop Yes, remember us saying that f6 is a problematic move? Yeah. So now, yeah, now these are all... This is what Tan is expecting. She and want to have more chances with the light. Okay, so, so this is very clever. Yeah. Very, very, very clever. And now with the check, and she takes control over the D file. And suddenly, look, look at this, in this sudden change. Mm -hmm. So instead of being the calmly pawn up and pressing and, and, and being with the initiative. Now white has the initiative all of a sudden. The pawn, although it's two pawns, mm -hmm. but they, they are much less effective now because you start to feel that the king is a little bit vulnerable. Yeah, it's very vulnerable. And, and throw in that you have no time so suddenly white is much more pleasant to play. Yeah. Maybe, okay, but, but again, maybe it's, uh, white is even losing here, yeah, I will, but... If black can she managed with the king problem, then... Then it's, it's she probably... She have to pawn up, but it's an easy win, with, yeah. With time control, she make any of the slight mistake here, then... The she can collapse. Yeah. She can suddenly collapse. Yeah. For instance, let's say even such a move such as Queen, uh, rook sometimes D2. rook d1 is played. Yes, yeah, rook d1, d1 is played is 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 obvious move. Mm -hmm. And now you you can, I can imagine moves like e4 or g4 blowing yeah. up the whole position because the king really wow she she found a fantastic resource. And uh, extremely exciting. And. Out of thin air, really. Look at look at this position. So she she was really not going anywhere, mm -hmm. and then in four moves she she managed to sacrifice another pawn. Mm -hmm. She hold and the chance of f6. She yes. hold this chance. She's really clear with his with her plan to uh, activate her uh, white bishop and then uh, to attack the g6 bishop and exchange it yes. and and to make this uh, position to attack position very very good very impressive even if it's uh, if even if it's losing for right uh, i think it was a very good mm -hmm. practical choice and i think it's now times area yes it's really yeah. good with this kind of attacking and pawns really mean much less here than uh, in this position, so. White has really good compensation. Okay, this is very exciting. So queen e7 played, and let's see some variation. So, okay, my first reaction would be to go <coughs> something like e4, maybe? E4. What go? Although e4, you might say that, what do you? No, actually, it's not so pleasant. How do you play against e4? f4. f4, four. I will go all the way. For black, she will try to block this position. Yeah, but you cannot. If, for instance, king f7, e6. Very nasty, and I will, mm -hmm. I will check. It depends on how you take. I. Uh, just crushing uh, from from everywhere. It's suddenly, I mean, wow. Okay, so f four, I think, is is a problem. But what if not? If uh, white wants to take, you probably need to give up this pawn and and keep it uh, closed. Mm -hmm. So maybe a move like that is um, maybe this is a move. Uh, she oh, played, she, she played. went another way. She, she played, okay, she this, this was uh, another option. It also makes sense. Then mm. she will play e4 and your d7 knight hanging. Yes, so e4 is a threat now. Mm -hmm. And, and what, it do, what she does, she doesn't allow king h7, which is yeah. important because now king h7 loses, uh, loses the knight. 
so black has to move her knight and out of d7 first like knight, like knight e5 of, knight f6 is impossible because f5 is yeah, hanging so knight e5 knight e5 but knight e5 we still have e4 or not oh but no no okay now so now f4, f4 is very f4, strong yeah. now f4 is winning i think mm -hmm. because you manage this is the ideal formation for black oh still not the end if i play bishop f5 then i would take ah, yes. and take f4 this is clever do we want to play with king to f4 no i don't it. think so it looks so <laughs> no we don't we don't don't worry <coughs> but where do we go so here and then take the pawn. you take your pawn ah! oh my god all of a sudden, yeah? So it was such a quiet opening, such a quiet game. What happens here? And you know, it's, it's totally out of control of black. Yes, so I just wanted to say, it's, it's, suddenly it's three results again. Yeah. And it was two results uh, five moves ago, and now it's three results. Yeah. And, it's, and psychologically, it's very difficult to, to play that. And you know, um, Lei is running out of time. She, she has, has 42 only, seconds. Yeah. And Tan has still has wow. four minutes. What a turnaround of events. Oh my god. What a game. What a game. And I have to say, if Lei loses this game, it will be a very serious psychological blow for her. Mm -hmm. Because she had it with black, all the... Okay, she played 95. It's... Mm -hmm. It's too early to to say that she's going to lose, but okay. Oh, but look, look at this: knight d4, rook d5. Time and to play really quick. She has rook d5 seen. looks very natural. She puts uh, even more pressure on, the, but it's weakening the first rank a little bit. Can we maybe? somehow exploit it. Uh -huh. But you can't move your I can rook. I cannot move my rook because it's tied to the defense of f5. The queen, so we she wants basically she attacks c5. She says if I take on c5 uh, I'm okay. Queen e6 is the natural move because f4 was also a threat. But if you play this one then you lose then you lose c5 somehow, either with the queen or with the, the queen. Oh, she played e, queen e6. She played queen e6, yes. Oh, actually. And what happens? Um, black may be better with c4, but it's really complex. Black, ah, black could have played c4. Uh -huh, to protect this, this pawn, but uh -huh. it would have f4. It looks very scary. Oh, four. Is that scary? What? Oh no, 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 no. Yes. No, no, probably no. <laughs> maybe yes. Maybe yes. Maybe we exchange the queens and the pawns, or maybe you know what? Here we could perhaps play first oh, f b three, and if you move back, then the pawns become like too strong to hold mm -hmm. wow this is crazy unstoppable anyway uh, what happened in the game well let's see wow what a game we are having here i think is this a blunder did they just blunder this oh my god oh. Wow, it looks like oh, it would yeah. take, queen takes, b3, but I do not believe she's... For example, queen b4. Queen b4, check, queen c2. Um, wow, what is going on here? So we have, I have this check. Check in H6. 
If you go to h7, then I can maybe take here and just transform into a winning uh, queen and queen endgame. Yeah, she took. Wow, what a turn of events! Oh my God. That's um, not good. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Wow, this is on the board, and looks like black is losing. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's a much more easy position, and all pieces are clear. Yeah, and then there are only, what, only oh. six moves left to the time control. I think she will make it. Okay, she checked on d1, king goes to g2, right? It has to go. Queen d5 and b3, maybe she will try to hold it like this, but I do not believe she can. Okay, so let's say queen b, uh, king g2, queen d5, f3, b3, and now queen b4 probably. Yes. Mm -hmm. There is some, still some chances, but ma mainly if only if white blunders something. Because black cannot even conveniently. Uh, she can play king d1. Ja uh, Tan is taking her time considering bishop f1 here. To make it safer, uh, yeah, the, yeah. the most safe way. Why still have choice to play bishop f1? Maybe bishop f1. Actually, bishop f1, b3. Ah, this is also an idea to play queen b4, queen c2. I don't like the bishop on f1 because now now it's a bit tricky. She did play king bishop f1. Yes? Yeah, she, she did play. What is Oh, interesting. But what's going on here? What is this b3? Ah, maybe she wants she wants to play queen e8. And the, the the idea being that here yeah. we have f3, e3, and bishop d3. Uh, Maybe this. Yeah, that's what she played. Uh huh. So this is clever. Mm -hmm. So she, she, she wants the she queen. She wants the queen on b5. This is a very precise play. And okay, on what? Can Lee can Lee do here? Not much. If she wants to push the pawn, she will have to unpin. King h7. King h7 played? Um, not yet, but if she will push the pawn. She Maybe King f6 is the better move, not to have this uh, five hanging with a check. I don't think so, because if you put your king out. out out of your pawns, then it can be really vulnerable. Or yeah, but to, well, I, th I don't think we're about vulnerable anymore. If, if white stops the B pawn, then the game is over anyway. It doesn't what matter. E4. E4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to mate me. Mm -hmm. How rude. You should want to H7. Okay. Queen B5. Maybe queen b1. I'm, I'm expecting queen b1 oh, there's now. There's only three and four moves left to... But look, uh, queen b1. Look, uh, queen b1 is very... Uh, I think it's the only move that can oh. maybe keep some chances because I don't allow you to unpin, so I prevent mm -hmm. bishop to, from d3. Mm -hmm. She played... It should she, be a she, draw. Didn't, she played f4. A draw? Mm -hmm. Really? After queen b1 is a draw? Because uh, white can't uh, stop black from uh, b2 and b1, so she has some check, long check. 
Interesting. So, but wait. Lay played F4. F4. What, what's that? I don't like this move. Why? Why F4? Well, she wants to open the king a little bit, but I think, I think now it's uh, check. Ah, no, ch yeah, check on f5 and e3. Or check maybe g6. Check maybe g6, check. No, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. She played e3 immediately, yes? Okay, I think this is the... Yeah, but, oh, but now she cannot have even played queen b1 because there is queen d3 check now. Mm -hmm. So f4, I think, uh, it, it feels this like is a f4 is, is, is a blunder, but it was, was really, was queen b1 holding? Mm, I think so. So, and, and after f3, e3, we play, we have this... Yeah. B2, and next I, I play queen c1, and it's unstoppable. If you want to... No, queen c, ah, queen c1 is, is a threat already. Yeah, and if you want to... So I have to play king g2, and then... Is, no, king g2 is... Okay. Is losing. It's losing, yeah. So what... Wow. So after that, after I play queen c1, the uh, she best just resigned. Move is wow, to... what a blow! Oh, that's... oh my God! Ah, uh, this is uh, this is a very very upsetting yeah. game. She has. A... Wow, what a drama! Yeah. And look she has at. A chance to even in the end in the very the last to, moment she yeah, had she this queen b1 draw and how the engine says it's a draw yes yeah it does wow after queen b1 it's a draw and the, the only thing white can do is to have check 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 oh, really wow so e3 b2 ah and after queen c1 it's just a perpetual yeah, yeah? wow Okay, what a drama. Um, the first day. First day. And with Tan winning by white. With white. So mm -hmm. ba basically for Lay's perspective, if, if you didn't know what happened in the game, mm -hmm. you lost with the white, with the black pieces. It mm -hmm. can happen. You have uh, five more games, three more whites to come back. Yeah. But, but there is this but, but is, according this, based on the position they had mm -hmm. she must even feel positions for black on, in the middle games and then she missed some chance to uh, develop the position and make the game so complicated and then she can't handle it in the time control yeah it's really very unfortunate for lei and very fortunate for tan she was really hat off mm -hmm. around move uh, somewhere around move 20 and she was really <coughs> low on time here yeah. also she had a um, much worse position and a low on time mm -hmm. she managed to complicate matters brilliantly i must say yeah. And uh, it caused uh, Lei to lose yeah. control of the game. Tan has more um, experiences on these uh, big tournaments. Yes, uh -huh. the, this is something we haven't discussed. Uh, yeah. But the, the experience yeah. of the highest stakes, I think for Lei, it's the first time she's mm -hmm. on such high stakes. That's right. During mm. the game, like I was telling you, Lei she's is nervous. nervous. Yeah, she is I nervous. I can see her her nervous because I know her really well. So when she's shaking her body, I know she she's nervous that wow. time. And when you're nervous, we all know that we mm -hmm. make more mistakes. And, yeah. and that's so pity for Lei. But hope she will adjust her, uh, uh, her, uh, um, 
herself and do better in the next games. Yeah, now it's very important psychological uh, work to do before tomorrow's game. And maybe we can have Tan here, or is it is it possible to have her for a short interview or something, or is it? It would be nice to hear her thoughts about the, the we'll see if, if we can have her. In any case, uh, so we can uh, wrap this uh, live game so tomorrow tomorrow the game will be uh, at the same time at 3 p.m uh, local time in Chongqing and uh, it's UTC plus eight and tomorrow uh, Lei will play white and Tang will play black so what do you think how will what will happen tomorrow how how does how does she approach tomorrow's game which um, is I guess Lei will want, she will urgent want a win by white. So Especially will, after today's. Yeah, she will play some sharp variations by opening. And that's my guess. Okay, and on, from Tan's perspective, I think she would love to have some draw, some draw to come back, come down. And but I think she would want to keep some double edge position because, or at least in the middle, if she can create some something like this, some mess like this, mm -hmm. it will be in Lei's mind that okay, two zero, I'm not coming back from two zero. Mm -hmm. So it will also, it might also affect it. So this is a very, a very interesting situation mm -hmm. from a tournament point of view. Um, but uh, all in all, the game was really a roller coaster. It's, Let's. It's an interesting game. Uh, it, with, yeah. Uh, start with a really steady start, and then they they have a fight. Uh -huh. Really, yeah, really fist fight here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, but uh, uh, the sad part is that this move, Queen A8. Mm -hmm. She make it, but she made it, but maybe it was not so good after all. Yeah, or oh, maybe maybe the position here is is already not that. Uh, we'll have to check with the with the engine, mm -hmm. of course. Or maybe after F six. But F six, yeah, F six yeah. looks mm, not so sensible because she uh, she leave herself some some weakness in her position, so. It gives white chances. It gave, yeah, and, and yeah. Tan used it. If you it don't fantastic. play F six, then I don't think white has such uh, chance to 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 uh, to complex this game. Yes. So the what we saw, like queen moves F6. like queen F six, it would keep really the the position. The position. The game would stay, I think, to re for oriented for two results, mm -hmm. yeah. and. Uh, and all of a sudden, again, it's it's not it's not entirely obvious from the very beginning. Here, it's not still entirely obvious that this is going to happen. Mm -hmm. But but now we look how beautifully Tan exploited the, the the weakening. So she she moved the knight to e3, opened the the diagonal, the first diagonal, mm -hmm. and then she she's now preparing the second and the, the jump. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and after F6, Tan shows her real ability of uh, such complex games. That's her special uh, special ability of chess. I think not many uh, women players can do that. Yeah, yeah, I, I must agree. And and this is very unnerving for the opponent because mm -hmm. you suddenly psychologically you you suddenly have to deal yeah. with. A very different set of problems that you you you, you were dealing with before, mm -hmm, when you're true. trying. Okay, how how I win precisely to suddenly how I not don't lose. So it's, it's like very very difficult, D different. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we are. We can we're waiting for 
town maybe or can we get her or she to for the interview? beginning of a hopefully exciting match ahead of us and uh, thank you for being with us it was a real pleasure to be with you thank you see you tomorrow see you tomorrow uh, 3 p.m we're still here to analyze uh, their games great thank you bye bye